Hey everyone, and welcome back to Age of Oblivion mod. It's been a while. Uh, I was sick last week, and I got two streams in of NZ in like the weekend, or three. Um, but yeah, I'm still a little bit not good. Um, I have like nasal problems just dripping down and stuff. So every now and then, I'm, I'm, I'm editing for videos is bad. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I'll be talking, and my voice just going to go away. But yeah, uh, other than that, feeling a lot better than I was. Um, just a thing to note, guys, uh, this series is also uh, most likely coming to an end on Wednesday. It's going to be today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. The uh, reason for that being is on Thursday, we're actually going to be doing a new server uh, of Ravenhurst. So for those of you guys that have been following my video series on Darkest Falls and Ravenhurst, you know how difficult Ravenhurst can be, and we're going to be doing that on a server as well. And I'm actually going to be using a proper server company with like unlimited RAM and stuff. So yeah, hopefully this is going to actually be a really, really nice experience. I'm actually looking forward to it because it's one of the mods that is perfect for multiplayer. Slow progression, difficult bosses. It, it just, it works. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, there's, I, I'm still doing the Darkness Falls and Ravenous videos. And I'll be doing the Ravenous stream starting Thursday, only that stream. So NZ came to an end yesterday. Uh, we faced Lord. I didn't get to all of the Vibranium guns and stuff. It was like the scar and all of those awesome guns as well. But yeah, I'm busy burning myself out with just way too many mods that I'm playing at the same time and my brain just can't take it. If I'm just doing Darkest Falls and Ravenous videos and Ravenous stream, then it's fine. <laughs> I can cope. It really feels like my brain's going out uh, like backwards these days. But yeah, let's get started. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying your day. Today's Monday, right? Yeah, today's Monday. <laughs> Time flies, and I never really know how fast it flies until the end of the week. I mean, it's almost winter. Well, it still feels like summer. But it's almost winter over here, so that's insane. Uh, let's, no, it's not a join game. It was a single player. We still worry 100 zombies. I wonder if this is part of the mod or part of Darkest Falls. Because I've noticed some mods sometimes, if I have Darkest Falls installed, have this as well. I don't think this is supposed to be a part of Age of Oblivion. I might be wrong. But yeah, since I want to make this my last, like, three streams, I want to make sure we actually get stuff done. So we're going to be trying all of the Age of Oblivion quests and stuff and just progressing through that a lot faster. The nice thing is, even though this is, uh, we're going to end on, like, the ninth stream, um, I still feel like we made a lot of progress. We tested the mod way more than an Alpha 20. Alpha 20, we played, like, one in-game week, and that was it. And I was like, okay, if you like the stream, you want to see more, let's reach 100 likes. And it never reached 100 likes. But an A21 now, I mean... And a three hour, no, a four hour stream is basically five or six episodes. That's a week. One stream is a week's worth of videos. So yeah, if we end on nine times six, that's 54 episodes of Age of Oblivion, basically. Let's see if I can't give myself a small green screen soon. I don't know if it bothers you guys that much. Usually I had that circle, so I'd show the background as well. Now it's... Uh, I actually like the fact, I, I like this, where it just shows me over the game. But that circle was a little bit more, I don't know, because of the stuff disappearing and reappearing and stuff, the circle might have been a little bit, a little bit better. I'm using a plugin at the moment to get rid of the background. You actually still see the background every now and then. Hey, Ripjaw, welcome to the stream. some reason, if I drink like the um, sugar-free uh, monster, when my throat is messed up, that wasn't me, that was in the game. <laughs> when my throat's messed up and I drink that, it actually helps a lot, like cutting all the phlegm and stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After the last stream, I killed a big dude, uh, a fat dude, and I dropped this thing. Damn, what did I eat again last time? Something that I ate is now making my character go... Bruh. Okay, so, yeah, we have to drop all of this stuff. I made this. Do we have a turret? Or is that just part of a, a, a thing that... See, it's been like two weeks since I've been on this uh, game. Now, I can't remember where we were. What we were busy with. Okay, do that. All of this stuff I think we can put away for now. The cleaver, I actually want to test that out. 53. 65. Melee attack, 25. And this one, 27. So it is a little bit better. This, I, I actually prefer this. I don't really like using the cleaver that much anymore. We can do that just to test it out a bit. 
Okay, so this, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't say anything about a recipe, so we can sell this. And then we have to put the rest of the stuff away quickly for now. Yeah, I almost forgot we have a drop chest underneath. So basically, stuff that you want to sort, you can just drop it over here and it'll auto-sort everything for you. I don't know if all of this stuff actually has, like, partners in the container, so we'll see right now. And then this I need to sell, so we're going to put that over there. Silent Hill was scary. Okay, these don't have friends, it seems. That over there looks like a monster every time I see it. I mean, it's been like two weeks since I've been here, and I still, every time I see that plant, I'm like, whoa, what was that? Okay, we have ammo, slightly. That reloads very slow. We have ammo over here, a lot more. I wonder if I shouldn't try some of these uh, trials that they have in the game as well. Ammo, we'll put that away. Armor. Yeah, last time as well, as soon as I logged off, there was a power outage over here. Never-ending power issues here in South Africa. What is this? V8 veggie juice. I just hear laughing in the background. Okay, as soon as I have this put away, I want to go check what the horde base looks like. Did it take uh, much damage or whatever? And then, yeah, we might have to put some more turrets for the next horde night. But other than that, we should be good to go. Miscellaneous. Trader. I should probably put this on so when I'm sorting stuff, it actually drops stuff that will also be sold. Peach cobbler. A diet is ruined. I hope you're happy. These sound profiles. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have infestation infestations over here, but we also have like the boss arena. Now, basically, if you go underneath skills over here, you can invest in these. We want to get the quests as high as possible because these quests you can then go and make inside the quest table over here. Cloning. We have all of these already. I just need to actually go and do it. Do we have the amusement park? Resurrection. Drink dispenser. I don't see anything about the amusement park. So we'll quickly make that quest. Ring, butcher, cave escape. I need to do the cave escape and cave find. But you saw last time when we went into that cave how difficult it was to get out. Dairy, perhaps. Deep frying decoration we already did. Oh, ho, ho, we did. Collect counts we did. Crystals we did, ovens we did. Vehicle trader we found. Did I find the vehicle trader with a quest? Yeah, I did. I did. I found him with a quest. I want to get these unlocked over here, but I don't know how far this is going to be. Main quest one. I need to do this. I need to finish these over here. So basically, we're going to be focusing a lot more on these uh, Age of Oblivion quests for a little. And then, yeah, we're going to see how much fun it's going to be. Um, I need to make more ammo. Can we? I need to make 762. 762, 762. Nope, still locked for some reason. The box is locked. Did I go past? Oh, there you go. And that's going to take forever. Uh, Escom being a, a menace for two straight hours. Yeah, like dark humor. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I, I'm, oh, you're also South African. I'm just so hopeful for South Africa, man. I just wish the a new company could take over. But there is talks of, like, uh, it, it's all a scheme to make sure that um, other people can come into power and take over. But I don't know how much that is true or not. Either way, something needs to change in this country. It's just, it's un unacceptable. Okay, so uh, we need to fix this over here, actually lift it up. I need to lift this whole area over here, or at least put some of my own floor in. And then we have to make this steel or the hardest block we can make. The zombies were pathing up this actually pretty well. Not much damage over here. We could actually put more ladders on this side as well. To have them stop fighting. I think when they go for these pillars, it's usually when they don't have space over here and they're like, oh, screw it, I'll just aggro then. Okay, so we're going to go for all of these tougher ones. I'll go for this first. Boss Arena. Wait, wait, what? It's 
spikes at the top. Oh, yeah, so the vultures impale themselves when they attack. That could work. I usually just put turrets up there so it just lights them up. But especially, uh, 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 I don't think spikes will work in this mod. In this mod, it's like uh, flying insects and stuff, and they are like really, really tough, really hard. So, um, yeah, spikes will break too easily. Unfortunately, I have to use guns. But in vanilla and other games, I might actually start using spikes. That's a good idea. There's like uh, dragons and flame throwing and rocket launching things as well, so we have to be really careful. Are you kidding me? The boss arena is Vanity Tower. No, is it? No, it's not. This is the boss arena. Why does it look so small? Wait, what? What is this? Give me some sugar, Give me some sugar baby. Give me. Oh, did I have a drone? I don't think so. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see how long we'll be able to last with this. We have this gun. Not um, not much ammo though. Kill any zombie. Nothing spawning. Oh crap. But I have to be on the floor for them to spawn in, good to know. I hope this is not copyright claimed. Oh crap. Gun is too slow. Ooh, I need to bring a faster gun. This gun's too slow, too slow, too slow. The zombies are gonna get more and more and more, so I'm gonna have to jump on the sides of here. The moment they, uh, they uh, come into view, it's gonna be easier. Like this. I want to use some rockets, uh, oh no rockets, uh, grenades as well. That's really cool. What was that just now? Oh, he's still alive. Oh, that was messed up. Uh, Ripto, I'm from, well, South Africa, but in Boxburg. What the hell? Did I not kill them fast enough? What's happening right now? It says still kill any zombie at your arena. They have to be here. They're going to spawn in soon, hopefully. A massive storm at the moment of here. I actually thought I wasn't going to stream today because of the storm. Can I go anywhere over here? As long as I'm still within, basically. I'm so confused what's happening right now.
Activate rally points. Hit your rally point. Kill any zombie. Okay, I wonder if... It says kill any zombie. So if I can get a zombie from the surroundings to come to me right now. Will that count? Nope. Can't go over there. And I'm not seeing any zombies in the vicinity as well. That's really messed up. If only I had more ammo, um... I would have lit them up, but I actually saved some ammo. That's why I had to jump around just now. I have to wait until more zombies come to me. It says kill any zombie, but it doesn't say it has to be in this area. So as long as we can have the zombies come to us, we can kill them here and that should count. I did get a drop thingy from one of them, so I don't know if it's done now. But it doesn't say return to trade or anything. That's why I'm so confused. You kidding me? Okay, what if I do... Oh, yeah, yeah, fire's this thing in this mod. Get a screamer over here. Okay, now we wait for a zombie. You like dark Yeah, I love dark humor. I mean, I live in South Africa, right? So I have to... <laughs> Why are there no zombies in the area, though? This is bizarre. Usually there's so many zombies. I can't leave the area because I want to fail it. I don't want to fail these quests because I need more of these. I'm gonna get you the main storyline, and the only way to do it is to get these quests done, and if I, and if I fail them... Oh uh, no, this is Age of Oblivion. So where's this corner again? There's no zombies in there, are you kidding me? I thought I might be able to explode the vehicle, but nope. And the one time when there's when I literally need zombies, there's no zombies anywhere. That's messed up. Am I gonna have to fail this one now and keep going, or? The streets are empty. There's nothing. I think I was supposed to kill them while the music was playing, but I didn't say that in the beginning. I'm hoping the fire draws in the screamer, but I don't know how long it's going to take, so I might as well just fail it. And retry it with more ammo. Now restarting it will also fail the... Well, it won't fail fail it. But you'll have to wait for the... I might just have to do that, or I won't I? I'm just afraid that I restarted, and as I restarted, the zombies start spawning in. Fail to find trigger, pistol trigger. This quest, I think, just failed. Killed by Jean, and then from there, nothing else spawned in. But it didn't say there was a time limit, that's a dumb thing. If I can get a screamer to spawn in right now, it says kill any zombies. So even if I see a zombie in the distance, as long as I kill it, it should work. But now, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any zombies in the distance. Okay, seems we have to restart this now, damn it. I wasted so much ammo just now as well trying to do this. What I should probably do is, before I do it again, 
I need to uh, call like a building zombies over, start the quest, and then kill those zombies. I think it should count because it says kill any zombie, so it doesn't have to be a specific zombie that spawns in. I wonder if I can do this one. Please come back later. There's already an active quest, but there's no quest active. Okay, we'll have to quickly cancel this one for now. But seriously, guys, this is the first time I've ever seen zombies not spawn. Like, this mod usually has so many zombies just spawning everywhere. That's why I think something might be broken right now. I can't even get close enough to this building. This, uh, this tower of here has so many zombies inside. But I can't trigger the spawn without getting close enough to it. Okay, there's an airdrop over there. We'll go for that. Yeah, we're going to quickly restart. I don't want to fail it, so I'm going to restart the game quickly. Okay, so continue game. Age of Oblivion. I'm hoping the next quest won't also fail like this. That's messed up. Oh crap, what the hell? When they spawn in, I'm gonna immediately throw the grenades. Yeah, we won't be able to do this. They have too much HP. That's bosses. Okay, I didn't think we we're gonna get boss. Oh crap. No! There's no way to kill them. We don't have the guns for it. I have to run, I have to run, I have to run, I have to run. Bye bye. These are demon bosses. You can see my HP dying. Um, this is dying right now. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, come on. And they don't despawn when they're done. I want to see how fast they heal. Yep. <laughs> no way, thank you. Ooh, okay, so the, the boss event is a big no-no. The fact that it says... Okay, cool, dude. Uh, the fact that it says... Um, let's just go for this infested over here. Damn. The fact that it actually told us to, uh, what, 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 what was the thing? Uh, yeah, it allowed us to start the quest. My brain's just so all over the place now. The fact that it allows us to start the quest just now means the other quest was bugged. It considered it done already. I have to do that again. But the boss one, I won't, I'll have to wait for the boss one. Do I bring a silencer with me? Okay, I, will, I should actually do this. Full auto scope. We're not going to put the scope on. We'll put that one on. At the moment, we don't have the, the ammo for this one over here. So we'll do this. And this. Okay, at least we leveled up from that. But still, damn. When the screen went like that, I was like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, you know what? I can just do this. That's a lot slower, but I can save time like that, or save uh, ammo like this. Are you awake? Hello, hello. Do I have the rad remover? No, I don't. I was about to ask, do I have the rad remover on this gun? Oh, not on this gun, this weapon. Hey, Mark. Well, I, I actually didn't notice the boss part. I thought it was basically like the same, the same as the one we just did. I 
Let me just heal myself before I forget. Okay, so I need proper guns before I can do the boss arena. I'm hoping the storyline um, will be able to get some guns to be able to use. Oh, nope. If you hit that, that's a no-no for both of us. We just did this on NZ. I'm kind of curious to see if I can pass through this now. Although in NZ's one, it looked different. Well, there might actually be this one. If it's the one that doesn't have a clear set path, then it's the same as NZ. I kind of struggled to clear that one out, though. I wonder what I can use to kill the bosses. Is it like a specific weapon? A uh, specific... It's probably the laser stuff that you have to buy from the traders. No, you can use the tokens to buy stuff from the traders' helpers. Okay. Hello. Bye bye. Wait, where's the rest? There's supposed to be a ton of zombies over here. Okay, I need to eat and drink. I just noticed my stamina is really, really low. That or just use my pistol more. It's a good pistol, man. It's a good pistol. Yeah, this one? Crawler somewhere. Oh, no, it's not. Night, uh, Ripjaw. I could easily use the uh, the bow and arrows for silence. I mean, I have the ammo and I have the gun, so we'll just do this. Should probably grab the resources while I'm here as well, because this one is a very weird layout. I don't know if this is the new A21 uh, one, or is it, if this is like a variant of it. But we were stuck on top, especially we don't know where to pass. Like, it wasn't super obvious. I still don't have a proper... Well, at least I have that skill and tool so I can do it fast. But I still don't have a proper axe. But it's so fast I almost accidentally break stuff when I open it up with this. And there's vultures over here, but this one doesn't have vultures. No, it does. I thought so, since this one also has those flying centipede thingies, that's going to be those kinds of things up here. Oh, crap. Wait, what? I just fell in and out at the same time. There has to be a bow that also fires faster, right? This one's a little bit slow. Guys, okay, I think now we fall down. Oh, both of them on fire. Only the one dot's moving. But oh, now they're moving. And yeah, they're definitely gonna die from that fire. Now we just jump over here. Dude, I, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here because now it seems like there's nothing down here.
Doesn't seem like there's a ladder to go up on that side. Even on the NZ server, we struggled finding a way out of this one place. It seems we're supposed to go over this thick beam of... Oh, it makes sense. There's a big beam of the uh, cross. See, now there's stuff there. Oh, we came from there. I just forgot to take the resources. I mean, if it's free, it's free, right? Let's just take it. I don't know if I still actually really need resources because I'm going to focus on the quests. But if I can use it, I'll use it. I can't wait for that Ravener server. Actually, really looking forward to it. Either today, uh, either tomorrow or the day after, um, I'm, I'm gonna be purchasing the server. And then we'll see how long it's gonna take to set everything up. I'm gonna be using that Arc servers that I owe. Although they told me that it's not a 64 server, it's just, it's called now a huge server. Come on. Now, where the hell did they go? I don't want to pull all the way down there just to kill them now. But they're there. Oh, this is how it works. I didn't even realize this goes all the way to the top. So that's how you get on the very, very top. I did not realize this in the server. Wait. It has the anti-red mode on red removal. Why is it still healing them? But yeah, um, MD, apparently, the, uh, remember how you said it's a 32 gig server and a, oh, not 32 gig, 32 slot and a 64 slot server? Apparently now it's just called the standard and the huge. Uh, there's no limit to how many people can be on a server. It's just a RAM limit. So the standard, the 32 uh, slot, um, has a limit of 14 gig. And they, they, he said, the dude actually replied and said he recommends people start on that one. And if you see you're getting kicked because there's too little RAM, then upgrade. But I told him, yeah, but we're going to be doing like hardcore mods and stuff. So there's the huge server, the 64 mod server. Um, that one allows for unlimited RAM. So obviously that's what we need. Get what? Out. Probably. Hello, hello. Now, this is the one I remember. The one on NZ was way taller than this and we couldn't get to the top. There was no real way to get to the top. And then there's a thing over here. Locked so it stops the zombies. If I can stealth this, I should stealth this probably. Though there's cops, I don't know if I'll be able to stealth a cop all the way.
Oh no, where did your friend go? Oh, she's there. I thought she fell off. Oh, now she fell off. Oh, kill the mid-air. Nice. Very nice. What if there's any explosives in there? Because I want to throw a Molotov. Yeah, still says clear areas on the very top. I think usually there's a demo up there. Why did these not count as part of the quest just now? Doesn't show that they're part, it's just like an extra trap. You think you're done. This is actually very nasty. It shows you have to go up, then you're done. You go up, you think you're done. It shows you're done, and you fall in over here, and the zombies just attack you. At least they're weak zombies, but still. Oh, hello. I thought there was going to be a demo in there. That's why I'm being so quiet. Quiet for no reason at all. There used to be a landmine right there with a ton of loot around here as well. So much thunder outside my window. I was hoping it doesn't get so bad because last time I actually lost the screen because of the thunder. It went all the way through my UPS. Uh, uh... Uninterrupted power supply, UPS. I went all the way through that and actually destroyed my uh, one screen. M16. No, what did I just do? Oh, I repaired it. Whew, I thought I was scrapping it accidentally. So really be careful of those shortcut keys. Okay. I think I got most of the resources in this place now. I just have to uh, accept for this over here. Yeah, we got most of the resources. So we can just jump down all the way to the bottom. Actually, we could take the tower down, but we can also just hippity hop like this. Did I get all the resources downstairs? No. I'm so focused on... Uh, I, I was actually so shocked by the fact that there's no zombies over here that I completely forgot about this. Are we still going to be better just to go mining for more? I want to try that arena fight again, but this time I'm going to lure zombies closer and kill them as soon as the music starts. If there's kill any zombie, they didn't say kill any spawned in zombie. Okay, so go hand that in. I can't remember if we already have tier 6 complete. I think we can already accept tier 6s, but I can't remember if we actually already completed the tier 6 as well. I have to go through all my quests, I'll complete a quest and see if there's anything about tier completion. And this actually shows you that as well. 
doesn't leave you guessing. And such nice rain outside. Well, looky here, boys. We got ourselves a real life hero, and now he wants to be. Better. Doesn't matter what I take. Oh, we're still in tier fives. Okay. Um, we are living east, west, south. I've got work. You better not fuck this up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Language. My uh, Batmobile takes a lot of fuels. So I want to make sure I, I'm constantly buying as well. I need to be careful not to waste all the cash too. I wonder if a junk turret. How great is a junk turret? I think we have one. If I have the skill to place two down and I do that arena. Oh wow, I actually went that through the gate. If I have two of those down and we do the arena, the, the turrets will actually help us kill the bosses. No, not, not the bosses, but the normal zombies. Pay so much attention to the road. We stuff just spawns in a little bit late. And then you hit it with a vehicle and it does so much damage to the vehicle. I need to make another drop chest and make it on top as well. So that I'm in a rush to get inside, I can just quickly go over here and drop stuff. The pelts can all be sold. What is this? Convert this skill point into an AO specific skill point. Wait, what? How? Oh, scrap magazine. Is that how you do it? You first have to scrap them and then put them in that other machine. Okay, now I learned something as well. Okay, so we can go for... What, what was almost done last time? I think alchemy. Alchemy is done. I'll probably go for stamina and health to be able to fight the bosses better. Hey, Matt, hey, Vladimir, welcome to the stream. Uh, not much. Just trying to get through the, all of these quests. I want to get through the storyline, basically. So if you go over here by this table... Oh, there's the amusement park. Uh, oh no, that's the dairy. We've already got the uh, amusement park. Basically, there is this over here. Elite Trader Facility 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to try and see if we can't do all of this in these three streams. Whether it's going to be possible or not, I have no idea. I don't think it is, but I'll try and get as far as possible. Because on Thursday, we're going to be starting a new server. Uh, Ravener server, and I can't wait for that. Unfortunately, if I'm not done by the end of Wednesday, then I'm not done. Um, even in my NZ stream. Why can't I re- Oh, okay, we already probably have one of these. Even in my NZ stream, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't even get to, like, the end game guns and stuff. But I just, I can't do too many mods at the same time, it's just impossible. I'm stretching myself a little bit thin if I'm doing, like, four, uh, doing, like, five, six mods. Resources, building supplies, ammo, and gun parts. Okay, I need to use this gun again. But this time I have to make sure we actually have ammo for it. We ran out like really, really, really fast when we did the other thing just now. Tools go over here. Uh, now I have to put these mods back over. I should probably see if I can't get more mods for both of them. We have the silencer. We can put the silencer on the pistol. Help us stealth some POIs. Um, hey Gitrip, welcome to the stream. I was looking at the Ravenous game and it looks hard as shit. <laughs> well, it's... It depends. If you don't take unnecessary dumb chances like me and you just hide at night, play during the day, it's actually really, really nice. I'm also thinking of making Horde Knight like every 10 days at least. Look, Horde Knight you could use like Molotovs to level up. But just getting Molotovs and resources already takes so long. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make it every 10 days. And uh, even us that like, like, hardcore, our server, we usually do, like, hardcore stuff on my Patreon server. And yeah, this time around, we're not going to be doing that. 
There are some of us that don't know the mod yet, uh, and uh, we're like, oh yeah, let, let's put it up even higher. Cool whip. Cool whip. Not whip. Whip. Um, okay, drink this, drink that. Vodka, raspberry. That was food. I need drinks. Okay, so um, let's just quickly see this quest line over here. Gather yeah, cloning station. How do you make a cloning station? Looting station. Boom. That was fast. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, I need to make my base bigger. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Uh, no, that's building block. That's wood. Cobble block. There you go. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Ooh. Uh, uh, hey, the, the breaking of the tools and stuff, as long as you level into your weapon that you choose. I don't know what, what weapon you prefer, but like, for example, most of us are going to be taking bows. Because especially with stealth, stealth in this mod is key. Uh, the super infested and ultra infested POIs at tier 2 and 3, they are bad. So even stealth doesn't work there. Uh, but if you take, for example, bows, you level up the bows... By using the bow constantly and making a few new ones, and also getting mods as soon as it reaches uh, yellow quality, from yellow quality and up, you can put mods on it. If you put mods on there that it doesn't break stuff fast, and uh, just go for that kind of thing, it actually gets a lot easier. And the higher the durability, the less it breaks as well. Also, the higher the durability and the skill you have in that weapon, the less it uh, degrades when you repair it. So in the beginning, for example, if something's under level 100, just let it break. But if it's the later 100 and you have like 4 out of 5 in the skill, you can repair it because it won't break. It also took me- I, I also, when I started playing, I was like, uh, I don't know. Why? That's so big, I can't even stand properly over here. But I was also actually very unsure of Raveness, and then I still started playing it properly, just put some effort into it, and I was like, whoa, okay, yeah, this is, this is nice. It's difficult as hell, but it's nice. I wonder if I shouldn't just put the cloning station outside, because it's taking up all the space right now. It's over the edge over there. If we can start cloning, we'll need cloning materials. Okay. Damn! Look how big this thing is. But the breaking of tools as well is gonna it's gonna force you to pay attention to stuff. Because in my series, I've broken like three or four items. And the the the, the breaking of the item isn't that bad. I mean, I'm playing Darkest Falls. If I die, I, everything gets deleted. And it's everything, not just the thing that breaks. Um, but in Ravenous, the only thing that sucks about it is if you have mods on your weapon and that breaks, then you lose the mods. That's the only thing that I'm like, oh. Okay, uh, collect cloning materials, animal DNA, human DNA. Do we have all of this? No, we don't. It actually shows there. It shows what we have and don't have, and at the moment we have almost nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is sharing. It shows gather scrap polymers. I only have 5 out of 20. So it seems I have to have it on me. Yeah, okay. So we might actually have all of this stuff already. That is animal DNA. I need human DNA. Oh, so I'm going to have to go kill some NPCs and uh, stuff for that. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any human DNA. I only have the animal DNA. So we can't get. Uh, we can't continue with this one right now because we need the, the human one. Blood bags we have, cryogenic materials. I think we have all of this stuff. Cryogenic materials. Let's just see that. I think I might have put it with the guns. Cryogenic, cryogenic. Laser. Intermediate. Yeah, this over here. Put that with the resources for now. So we have these. 
We just need the human DNA. We have everything else except the human DNA. That sucks. Okay, anyways. Food processing. Gather kitchenaid. Place kitchenaid. Kitch. I'm going to get through all of these uh, small quests because it gives me quests rewards. So it gives me this blue note. And if I uh, take that, the quest thing goes up. The more the quest thing goes up, the more it unlocks. So at the moment, we're trying to unlock this over here. The higher this is, the more it unlocks all of these storyline quests. Now, all of these storyline quests. Okay, anyways. Uh, single player and P2P arena. I'm going to try that one again. The boss one, unfortunately, yeah, that's not going to happen. Amusement park, where's that? We need to go clear these places out. All of these things will be a quest. Place drink dispenser. Drink dispenser. B2. What do we need for this? Mechanical parts. We do have a ton of office chairs. It's a shame there's no thing like the food processing table over here that you can use to take stuff apart, like a recycling station. Because this, you put some uh, food, uh, put, yeah, food, food items in there, like um, a carcass of an animal, and actually gives all the parts. But yeah, I have to go and do this for each and every one instead of using like a recycle or something. Okay, so that is the dispenser. A lot of these are just place it. Uh, resurrection table. Resurrection table. 100 forged. I need two more forged and then more mechanical parts. Six minutes forty, need more fuel. We can actually make way more I just realized we have a ton of oil shale over here. I can make myself so much gas. We don't have to buy anymore. I just spent cash on some uh gas as well. Since this has been so long since I've been on this uh, on the single player on the save, I forgot what I have and don't have. I can easily just go and make myself stacks of fuel. Boom. Resurrection table, there you go. So then we just have to go for the amusement park. The grilling. Place Weber Grill. Didn't we have that already? The steep fryer. Gas oven. No, we don't have the grill yet. Grill. Weber Grill. It just says Weber Grill. Doesn't have a... Uh, yeah, it just says Weber Grill. Sometimes you have to pay attention when it says 2, 3, 4, this version, that version. Okay, so KitchenAid gather. And place it. What was that just now? See, that just now is towards the questing thing, so soon we'll be able to unlock the first storyline. I need to go for that arena again, and this time I'm gonna do better, man. I'm gonna be better, do better. What is this? Ooh, barbecue sauce. Yummy. Okay, so next thing's done. This is the drink dispenser. They gave me two quests. This quest thing's gonna fill up fast. It's already at 41 out of 80. Can't we unlock something already? No, how high does my skill need to be? Damn. Damn. I, I laugh we have to go do the cave thing for it to actually work properly. And then I'm going to have to take so much ammo with me because that cave is truly, truly difficult. At the moment, even this gun isn't good enough for that. Okay, so we're still crafting that over there. I need to go to the amusement park. I wonder if I shouldn't head there now. Brewing place brew station. Didn't I have already one? There's a churn. No. Brew. What's up, brew? Oh, it's... Wait, wait, wait. That's locked. We have to put a point. Damn it. Into this of the... Uh, not farming. Not cloning. Wait, wait. Where's the... Quests. Crafting. Crafting time. Power crafting. Generators. 
Battery banks, crafting time. Cooking advanced. It's not the advanced forge, that's just for the bellows. Alchem no, it's not alchemy. Wh which one is for the brewing station? And the cooking? Booze, yeah, okay, yeah, we have to go a little bit more into cooking. So the next le three level ups need to be dedicated to that. You know, just please, while I'm waiting for those things to finish, just do this. We need so many mechanical parts, and I mean, that's why I always hoard all these uh, chairs. Because after a while, you are going to need the stuff from the chairs. Early game, you can scrap them for leather, or you can wrench them for mechanical parts. Like a win-win. Luckily, you get rip, uh, the nice thing is everyone on the server is super nice and helpful and stuff. At the moment, it looked also very difficult because I was doing everything alone on Ravenhurst. But if everyone does it as a team, I think it's going to be way, way easier getting stuff done. Six. You think this base is way too small? If I was actually doing a proper video series on this, I'd need like a massive, massive 20 by 20 base or something. Just really check my notifications over here. This weather over here is actually really bad. I want to make sure there's no warnings of stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. These should be done. As soon as we place these down as well, it's going to help us with our quest line. What is this? Maybe a grill. Is there space over here? Ooh. I mean, I didn't intend to put this here, but there's space. Oh, nice. Hello. Cheeseburger. A fresh one as well. Mm. Okay, I'll keep that for later. And then this is the resurrection table. Ho, ho, ho. Damn. It's almost just as big as the uh, cloning station. Okay, let's see if I can fit this. It's so big you struggle to place this thing down. That says a lot. What is this? Resurrection potion. So, collecting, plant seeds, gather seeds, amusement park, resurrection. Gather yeah, random zombie guard spawner. Place random zombie guards. Uh, is that something you have to craft? Zombie. I think it's probably inside this thing. Nope. What is a zombie guard spawner? I don't know what that is. Zombie corpse. Random guard spawner. Human cloning ingredients. Oh, you can make it in the cloning station. Spawner. Random animal, random guard spawner. So we have to make this over here. Human cloning ingredients one. But we don't have human cloning ingredients. So if I see any NPCs, I have to kill them and then harvest their corpses. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, human DNA, human cloning ingredients. Yeah, you need human DNA, but I don't know how to get human. Oh, okay. You can make human DNA. You don't have to get. Okay, so we have everything then for the next class. For the cloning of your cloning material, it says gather human DNA. You can craft it. We have the animal DNA. We have everything else. So we can continue that quest. Uh, continue that quest line. This one over here. Needs human DNA, and that's what we're making right now. And after we have human DNA, we have to get all of this stuff over here as well. Yeah, we have to get all of this stuff over here as well to be able to make it. That's fine. How long is it going to take? 20 minutes. It's like a minute each, right? So at 19, we'll get one. Then we just quickly stop it. Although for the quest itself, how many do we need? One as well. So I need to make two for now. So at 18 minutes, that should be done.
Okay, good to know. Uh, let's just put that away. Corpses can go in there. I'm hoping the boxes are all still sharing properly as well. Sometimes for some reason the boxes stop sharing, especially if I haven't been on for a while. But that's mostly also on the servers. Absolute electrical. Everything of yes crafted, everything of theirs crafted. This one is going to unlock soon as well, Elite Trader. I think that the Trader things are going to unlock if your skills get to a certain level, obviously. But then you have to do one to get the next ones unlocked. It's almost morning, so then I want to go to that arena. But until then, I want to make sure we're here getting this stuff done. It's already at 18.35. It should've... Please don't tell me it's going to take 18 minutes to give you 20 in one go and you have to wait all 20 minutes. I mean, I can easily go do the arena while I'm waiting over here, but still. This time around, I'm going to uh, call 20 zombies to me before I start that quest. So we can just kill them all in one go and then boom, done. Let's go! Whoops. I think you have to kill all the zombies before that boss music ends. If you don't kill all of them in time, then uh, yeah, you fail it. Hello, General! Okay, we'll have to see if we can't get some of uh, the zombies in the neighboring buildings. You get nothing! You get a nothing. I just want to get his attention. I want to kill him. Now we have three zombies on us. I need a little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Oh, that's a silencer. They won't hear us with that. Let me make sure that we don't run out of stamina right now. Do I have any stamina drinks on me? Nope. That's one. Two's over here. There's some zombies over there. There's a cop over there. I need more. There's one over there. And there's some flyers. Okay, so we might actually be able to do this. Although that's going to get in the way. Too tough to take down. And there's going to be zombies spawning over here. So I think we should start it now. Can we start it? Come on, zombies. I'm going to test it now by killing these. Yeah, see, it counts. I knew it. Spawn in, damn it. Spawn in. Why are you reloading so slowly? Oh, is it because it's a boss fight? Whoa, that's reloading slowly. Five left, come on. Yes, yeah, because it's a boss fight. This is so messed up. Come on, four more. We can do this, come on. Nice.
The music stopped once again, and it's not done. That is messed up. It says 18 out of 20, so we failed this. Is it just impossible to finish, or what's going on right now? Oh, we also had to kill some of the uh, their zombies to finish it off. Nice. Okay, so at least I finished it this time. Okay, I think we can actually quickly go do this one quest. Infestation. While we wait for that uh, human materials to finish. See, this is why spikes on the roof won't work. These things. And they're one of the weaker ones. Okay, where do I need to go? That way. The moment I'm done with this tier 5 infested, we should be able to keep going with the other quests. With the cloning and the resurrection, which is awesome. At least this time I was able to finish the quest. Last time we killed all the zombies. I wonder if there wasn't something stuck somewhere. So we, they spawned, I just didn't see them and then I couldn't kill them. Hello, town hall. Infection, we need to cure, but I don't have any honey on me right now. I should probably keep all that stuff on me. Hey Sam, welcome to the stream, and hey Greg. Okay, so we're supposed to start this side. Come on! Be careful not to get overrun. This gun is awesome, but if you have to reload, it's super, super slow. We've done this pure eye so many times already. Okay, I need to see if I can't find a pull room as well, because I need to quickly heal my infection. I like the sound of this, very quiet. So if you're facing a horde knight or something and barely makes any noise, you can talk over it. But, yeah, reload speed is slow. And you run out of ammo and it breaks really easily. At least we had a repair kit, nice. There should be a pull store, so please, I need some antibiotics. Be careful of ferals and stuff spawning in over here. Hello, landmines. These spikes are actually really good. Just don't use them often. Did I bring? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we can use this quickly. Repair that. Be careful. I think there's another... Explosive. No, no, no. They stepped on it. I thought there might actually be another one of those landmines over here. Also, when I scrapped that note earlier, you have to put those scrapped magazines in here. So you scrap this. I have to put two- oh, but I need to scrap one at a time, I just got one back. You can put two in here and you're gonna get a random new magazine from that, that's awesome. Okay, now we go up. I need to reload this look how slow this is. Is there a skill I can go into that allows me to reload faster? It's probably gonna be on the machine gunner. Reload 20% faster. Yeah, I'll put all the points into this now. It's barely faster, but we can at least see it. Nice, Mega Crush. Earlier when I needed to run, I didn't have it. And now that I don't need to run, I have it.
Sometimes this can actually be really good, although you have to shoot from a distance as to not wake up all the rest. In Ravenous, though, you can actually use... Even in Darkest Falls, I've noticed. If I use the Silent Sniper, or in Ravenous, if I use any kind of silence on a pistol, it barely makes any noise. So if in Ravenous we find silences, we have to treat them like gold. Come on, stand up. Imagine this was a Wasteland mod. The amount of lag we had on that server just because of fire. But yes, Sam, this is the mod that requires like 30 plus gigabytes uh, for the player and the server. Okay, so we came from there, we have to go down and we have to go over over there. But sometimes you can even go up over here, down over here. Stand still. You see how bad my aim is with this gun. Imagine how it would suck if you want to- Oh, what was that? I just got something good. It looked like a new gun. Like the Master Sergeant Pokers from Darkest Falls. No, okay, it was the AC. Oh, okay, I saw the rate of this and the gun of this. I was like, damn. But yeah, imagine trying to jump over here for safety and then the red line is right outside of here. So as you jump, you can't turn back and you fail the quest. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. Oops, DD. I want to do this, actually. I can do this. I want to do this. And I want to do this. I basically killed all of them just now. <laughs> Damn. I feel like the... Um Fire extinguisher in Ravenous works way better. Because yeah, you, you shoot through this thing, it doesn't seem to work. It's, it's working, but it doesn't, doesn't look like it's working. So you click and click and click and you break it way faster. Probably have a steel pick on me. At the moment, this auger is slower than the pick. Just because of that one skill we went into. Remember correctly, there's a mod where you can craft your companions, zombies, and can fight you. Yeah, it's this one. It's a cloning station. Yeah, I have to go through the quest line, but I was waiting for the human materials to finish crafting. It seems some of the schematics turn into paper, some turn into scrap magazines. What do the perks count as magazines? I think that's the case. Perks count as magazines and crafting uh, things craft uh, to paper. Count as paper. Okay, so let's go back to the trader and then we have to go to our base for those quests.
I hate the Alpha 21 bookstore. I much prefer the Alpha uh, 19 one. Although even the Alpha 19 small bookstore, the shelves have now been replaced with the A21 versions. Even in Darkness Fall, so you can't uh, loot them over and over and over again on a server. At least I play with loot respawn off anyways. No, 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 no. Okay, at least you didn't get too much damage just now. That happened with the RV and it actually sent me flying as well. Now the time is money, and I'll wager you don't have any. Are you sure about that? Okay, so we'll take another... Ooh, Michael Phelps mansion. Ouch, that's gonna be bad. 16,000. Is there anything over here that I'm gonna need later? I know I need to heal myself. And cure the infection. I'm thinking... I think we already have a robotic turret somewhere. I need to go Don't check. Let the door hit you on your way out. How rude, sir. Okay, I need to actually go and use my XP elixirs more as well. I have 21 on me, but I keep forgetting to take them before I do places like the tier 5 clear. This will go for stamina again. No, I should have gone for uh, cooking for the brewer. I want to make some beer, man. Get that quest out of the way. But I mean, if I use the XP elixirs, I'll be able to uh, level up anyways. I have to remember to use it. No. Oh, I right clicked. I didn't left click. Nice. Even though it sounds like you're drinking murky water, I just splash it over you. Yeah, there's, there's very few loot actually uh, dropping. I actually mean like the final stashes, but it depends on the POI. At the moment, I'm more interested in getting the quest done than what kind of loot I'm getting. Although sometimes that can go hand in hand. Because just now you might have found something in the loot that really helps you later. You get nothing! You lose! You get nothing! You lose! How rude. Two in a row as well. Hello, horsey. Okay, the human material should be done by now. Even if it's not all done, I'm just hoping it doesn't complete as like a bundle of 20. If it's just slightly done, that's all good. Why does that keep happening now? Just because I used the water earlier. Okay, so we don't have this one weapon yet, but I think I might have scrapped that or sold it in the beginning because it looks crappy. And we have a level 6 of this one. Yeah, this one's way better. This, one, two, three. Electricity. For the moment, that almost felt like my light was off. Okay, and then human cloning's on top. I still have to put ladders and stuff in over here as well. Oh, it did finish one, uh, one at a time. Nice. Okay, so now we can actually make the ingredients over here. It says craft... Okay, uh, crystal power generator required. Crystal power. That is locked under what? I'm guessing that's going to be either cloning. The skills over here, over here. It's either going to be over here. Power generator, there you go. I need three points into cloning, unfortunately. So I can't complete that one for now, but we can possibly do this at least. Gather scrap polymers. It's weird that it's not picking up that container. Wait, what does the quest say to do? Oh, animal DNA. Before we can start uh, cloning, you will need to add power to the cloning station. Oh, are you kidding me? Now, now it's blocking me from finishing the quest. Because I need the generators. I need to level up three times. So we have to focus on doing quests now that are going to... I'm going to go to the amusement park. Take a ton of XP elixirs and just try and see if I can level up over there. We need three of those red markers to turn into cloni uh, cloning tokens to unlock the generator. This one... Random zombie guard spawner. It's also... I can't do anything. Zombie guard. Guard. Human cloning ingredients. Human 
Turning ingredients, need the generator. So before we can finish anything now, we're going to have to go and first get that. Uh, we don't have a dump chest or anything, right? I'll have, to, I'll have to put everything in the same box. We need more of these tokens as well. No, not these ones. These ones, because that's going to give us laser tech to kill the bosses. I have so much laser ammo, but I can't use them at the moment. Probably take this with me to sell. We also have this to boost our uh, barter as well. Well, that's from buying, not selling. Onion rings. Mega crash will keep. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It almost sounds like me. Okay, so we have to go level up. Uh, infection cure. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Iron Man. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we have to go level up, but I'm thinking of doing the... Where is it? Amusement park. It's 1.9 kilometers away. Amusement park. Oh, it's in the wasteland. Okay, so this is going to be tough. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't take better weapons then. I could have sworn we had... Okay, I can take this with me as well. For like, um, damage. This. Um, I could have sworn we had a turret that I could use as well, but it doesn't seem to have one. Did I sell it or something? And then this over here uses 0.44. See, I've always wanted a gun that uses 0.44 ammo. But I feel like that's a really awesome addition. So now we need to go level up. At least it's going to be in the wasteland and there's constantly bosses and stuff spawning over there. So it's going to be possible. Yeah, there's also teleporters on this one, but it seems you can't craft them. Or it's, it's perhaps a late game thing. Um, some of the traders have the teleporters in their base, but it's mostly the traders that have, like the special traders, the vehicle trader, or the normal traders that have like a buddy in their compound. Then there's three stations. It goes, it teleports you to your backpack, teleports you to your base, and then teleports you to another location as well. We thought about taking out the spoilage file so people won't lose their food when they're not on. Oh yeah, that's right, because it's actually spoiled when they're not on as well. Probably do just to give us a little bit of a helping hand, I should probably do that, right? The food spoilage adds to the game though, but the only problem is, yeah, like you said, if you're offline, your food spoils. And that's not gonna be fun. Especially imagine if you have to take like a two or three day break, you come back and your stuff's just spoiled. What the hell is this? It keeps doing that now after I uh, threw the coffee or the water earlier. Rose Abbey. It's a MP log PI. I think it's a trader. No, there's a... Oh, there's zombies over here. I wonder if that's actually radiation then. There's a spider there. There's, there's loot on top of there. So I wonder if I should really take it. But just now there's a boss zombie over here. With normal ammo, you can't kill the boss zombie because they heal too fast. They changed the recipe on the new update and use the old recipe of the bucket, use the new... Oh yeah, I saw that comment, thank you. So with the new recipe... I, I didn't even realize there's two recipes in uh, Ravenous now. But why do they still have the old recipe there if it's not going to be used anymore? That's so dumb. I'll have to take that off my belt. Earlier I accidentally drank it. Because I accidentally drank it... Uh, no, I drank it but it poured it out. Now it keeps pouring it out. Every time there's no zombies, I get this eerie feeling. There's supposed to be these freaks of nature walking around in the wasteland. The amusement park is one of the tough ones in the game. So this is going to be interesting. Hit to rally point, but it doesn't show a rally point. If I'm running the wrong way now, I'm going to be so mad. What's that audio playing? Oh, there's a dragon over there. This place is so big, it doesn't even show the rally point to me. I wonder if I do this. Go on map. 
Does not... Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, now it says 19 meters away. All of a sudden it shows no uh, rally point to show. I'm further away again. Look at all these freaks over here spawning in. Oh, hello, doggy. These monsters only have 100 HP. They look freaky, but they only have 100 HP. Okay, quest. I'm getting further away again. It's over here somewhere. I have to jump over the wall to be able to get in over there. I wonder if that means the quest marker is either inside... Or if it's underground. Let's see if I dig down what what will happen. Hey, look at I'm getting closer to the point. So, uh, so for some reason the marker is underground. This has happened on the server before as well, with the one army camp. I'm getting too far away. I don't know if it's above me or if it's underneath me. If I move this way, it gets further. If I move this way, it gets closer, 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 closer. I don't think I'll be able to do this amusement park now. 1.5, 2, 1.4, 1, I don't think I can do this quest. That's so messed up, man. I'm probably going to go inside over there because I want to see if I can't uh, level up from killing all the zombies. I can't get that sweet spot. Every now and then I'm like 0. Point something meters away. Nah, I'm giving up on this. I can't see it. Okay, well, I'll re-log quickly and try, but I don't think... I think this quest is bugged. In uh, the one server, there's a military camp as well. And we actually had to dig down next to it and find the marker. Ooh, Brandon, speaking of, you're going to like Thursday's video. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> we're on day 18. That's all I'm going to say. And I can't believe we're actually getting this right now. Oh, there you go. So the relog worked. Yay.
This point full full gun is actually really good. Oh, what the hell is that? The monsters look creepy in this mod, I have to tell you that much. What the hell, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, when they die, they release radiation. I forgot about that. Oh, wow, did that just spawn in? What the hell was that? I have to jump over the wall, it seems. These just spawned in. I feel like this Tommy gun is way more powerful. I think it's this thing that spawned in those things just now. I need to heal myself as well. You can XP Alexa. Hello, what the hell are you? My Yummo. There's quite a bit of stuff spawning in right next to me, just make oh, it's just gonna make this way harder as well. Where is that thing? Okay, uh untouched. Okay, so uh should I just run through this place? I'm gonna lie, kind of terrified. Did it fall into the hole? It did. Oh, these guys just spawned in. They just spawned in because of the biome. Or there's something else that's spawning them in. I love this gun. Unfortunately, we don't have that much left, so I have to be careful. Destroy eight skeleton orbs. Where, what are those? I have to be careful of the radiation as well. Some of these zombies, when they die, they leave a smoke behind. In the, the snow, it's like a freezing thing. In the desert, it's a hot thing. And here, it's like a radiation cloud. Okay, I don't have any more mega crushes and stuff left, so I have to be careful. It still says 0 out of 8 orbs. Oh, is it those red things? I think it's those red things. I don't know why I'm lockpicking right now. That's dumb. I thought I was looting it, but I accidentally lockpicked it. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. That's outside. That's fine. I think it's this pure eye that's pulling them in. So the faster I get this done, the better, because it's going to spawn in so many things. Oh, pick it up. We can just run, we don't even have to fight everything. But our stamina is going to get lower and lower and lower, so we have to be careful. Clown car is going to spawn clowns. Yep. <laughs> I need to find more orbs. The monster inside of here. Ooh. Ooh. Why do I why do I think there's an orb down there? Is there a monster in the grass? It feels like it. Okay, I have this feeling we have to go down here.
Oh no. Okay. We did not. I mean, it was worth a try, right? Just now, it actually does lead somewhere. There's another orb on that side. This is really a creepy vibe. The whole place is just a broken down amusement park. I wonder if I destroy all eight orbs, whether it's going to spawn like a boss or something. My stamina is non-existent right now. I think I saw some vending machines somewhere. I should have tried to see if I can buy some stuff from them. Huh. This place outside of waste would be nice space for the walls. I wonder what these orbs yep, do. I wonder what they what their purpose is. Oh, there's definitely oh I should not have looked up. Should not have looked up. The moment I start taking damage, all of these things are gonna come down to me. They usually attack only when your HP dips a bit. Can I buy a mega crush over here? Nope. Alright, another clown call. I need to kill these things above me. They're gonna be on me in no time. Oh, hello skeleton. Wait, are you guys coming because I destroyed the skeleton orb? That would make sense. Oh crap. No, 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 they were waiting for that. These guys can be really- oh crap, no! Why do all my guns need repairs? Come into the carnival! Come to the carnival! It's these things throwing vark, rocket balls and stuff. I need to reload, but it's reloading so slow that by the time I've reloaded, I've been attacked again. Okay. Chris, man. Oh! Okay, I found the entrance. Come on, man. Give me a break. And now they're running through the fire. That's awesome. I still have to destroy five orbs. Where? Nice. Thank you for the food. Oh. Damn it. There's so many vultures. They're just waiting for me to take a scratch. As soon as they've attacked you, they do not give up. These things can climb into the walls really easily. Why do I think it's going to be an orb inside of here? It's red. She's stuck inside the wall. This place is so huge. I get all these crates.
Okay, I was right. Ah, uh, they're gonna come for me again. Okay, yeah, this is... No, 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 no. I'm dead. This was a trap. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Wait, were those bosses just now? What was that just now? Look at my HP. This is a bloody stressful. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a ball over there. I just need to heal first. I've taken way too much damage. I need to repair all my guns as well. Not repair, reload. Oh, I see an orb over there. There's an orb there and there's an orb over here. There's skeletons just now though. Damn! Yep, yep, yep. Those things are freaks of nature. No, thank you. Those centipede, centipod, whatever those things are, they are really, really tough. We had them in the wasteland the first time we got here, or the first time we went into that cave. They do drop red bags and loot and stuff, so it's worth taking them on. But they're tough. Can we just get a mega crush? Holy shit. Did I kill him? They keep spawning on my head, so I need to be really careful of my surroundings right now. To be safe, I need to do this. I need to jump on top of the roof over here. Because it's basically like one and a half block, and I also can't stand on this roof for some reason. Oopsie daisy, nope. Okay. Where the hell's the rest of the orbs? We should really also get rid of all the food and stuff that I have on me. I need to make sure we're filled up to the brim. Vegetable oil, soda boost. That's not an orb, right? I feel like I've been through most of this place. There's a red shine over there. Ah, oh, there's a red shine over there. These skeletons are scary as hell. Um, I think I should do this. I can just block off the path in case I need to. Why am I so slow? This is me running full speed right now. I'm just going to run this way around as well to see if there's anything else over here. The orbs might actually be inside something as well, or on the top of something. I saw red, but where did I see it again? It might just be from over there. We already went through there. All the cash of here. I don't want to stop for coin right now, though. Nope, 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 nope. I've run more or less all along the side of the... Oh, is it going to be in the water? If it's in the water, I don't know if we'll be able to do it. There's a tunnel there, though. I think we might actually have to go into that tunnel over there. Because we still need two orbs, but I can't see the orbs right now. The first few orbs, uh, they make it so that you think it's going to be easy. Because they give you the first uh, few orbs really, really easily. And after that, you have to struggle to find the rest. And this biome just keeps spawning what Oh, there's one. Crap. Crap. 
See, it's right over there. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go there or not. These clowns are notoriously hard to hit. Even if you go for headshots, you miss. When I first started this mod, that was annoying because I keep hitting the zombies. You hit them and you hit them and they hit them and they hit them, but they don't they don't get hit. In the maze. I'll go back up there now to check. You can actually see the hit marker when you actually hit him, and most of the times it just misses. Yeah, we can't climb that. Nope, there's spiders and freaks down there. No, thank you. Crap. Where's the rats? It didn't spawn rats. Wait, what? Usually when it says that, uh, it actually spawns in a rat or two for you. Hello, hello, hello. Mutant fighter. Those red markers I have to put into like booze and stuff. Okay, so there was one down there, so they can also be underneath things. Get back to the maze section, hopefully it's over there. We've already inside the clown over here and there were way too many freaks as well. Oops. See how they spawn in from nowhere. Literally nowhere. Oh, I have one HP damage and because of that... Crap. I'm out of stamina, I'm gonna die. I can't move, I'm completely out of stamina right now. Friggin' hell, man. No, 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 no. Please, no. It just keeps spawning in on me now and my stamina is getting worse. My food's- I think it's this POI. It's really messing with my stamina right now. Oh, my whole body's tensing up right now. I think this biome- uh, this- POI itself is slowing me down. I have nothing on me, but I can't move. Now, where was that maze? Oh, there's a red ball over there. That's the last one. What's gonna happen as soon as I have you it, though? You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Crap. I keep forgetting about the clown call. So it was inside the maze, you were right. Now it says, talk to trader. So we're done, right? No, but wait, what? Um, which trader? Now it says, talk to trader, but it doesn't specify which trader to talk to. Oh, oh, in the middle of the park. Okay, I do not want to do this POI again. It wasn't insanely difficult, but just your stamina. For some reason, your stamina is insanely low. Wait, where do I enter this?
No. Crap, how long is that going to take? So this is a concussion. Ugh. Where's the entrance? No. Can I climb this? Does anyone know this place? Know where the trader is? <laughs> they just keep spawning zombies in right now. It's underground, but I need to get underground somehow. I just want to reload all my guns while I'm safe up here. The moment I go back down there, we're going to get way too many enemies spawning in again. I wonder if I can dig down over here. the wrong way. I know you can head it in at any trader, but I want to find this trader. Is he upstairs or something? The moment I tried digging down over there, all of a sudden these guys spawned in. There has to be a way down there. I know it's probably not necessary to do it the right way, but I want to do it right. I'll try upstairs first, but the fact that the floor is so tough, I think it's under underneath us. I'm getting further and further and further away from the trader, so it's not up here. Can I see something from over here, though? What's that? Crap, man! I thought this was a, a walkway down. When they get inside the grass like that, it's really hard to hit them. What did that button do just now? <laughs> Crap, what the hell was that? That hit hard. Like, way too freaking hard. I keep forgetting about the uh, the mutation stuff that they... Uh, when they die. They turn into this green fog and it really messes with you.
I don't think the trader is down here. This is just, I think because the quest was bugged, it shows the traders here. Remember in the beginning, the master, uh, marker was gone? Yeah, it's supposed to be over here, so I'm going to go to any trader then. If I fail this because it, oh, it was supposed to be a trader over here, then I'm just not going to do this POI again. How do you get out? Oh, there's a clown car again. Come into the carnival. As locked as 127 meters. So I, I, I think it just. It said locate trader, but. It says basically I have located the trader. The other, the other quest was also bugged earlier, uh, the arena one. Because after I completed the arena, I wasn't able to hand it in. Oh no, 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 I couldn't find all the zombies to kill. That was the problem. Oh, crap. See, I just got a reward for doing this just now. 24 skull tokens. That's so oh, dumb. Kind of lousy customer are you anyways? Better than you. Okay, that was it. Talk to the trader. That was so dumb just now. How much did I level up from that though? Because I was just running around doing nothing. Oh, oh wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, Cloning. I have to go three into cloning. It felt like I was doing nothing <laughs> because I was just trying to survive. But now I can do the generator. Nice. Let's go. I need to mark where to go back to. We're just going to go and try and go straight through the road over there. But I think we have to go for this road and then down. They actually just dropped something. But now it's uh, nighttime, now it's dangerous over here. Look, the dragon's also attacking. Nighttime in this mod is insane. And it's truly, truly insane. Didn't tell me I messed up like last time. Last time I had to jump out my vehicle because every single piece of iron we uh, hit, we stopped this in our tracks. It stopped, look at that. It just stopped this again. The vehicle was getting destroyed so I had to run away and at the end I was barely, barely alive. This mod has way too many features as well. It's basically like joke mod and the semi-series like Darkness Falls and stuff all thrown into one. It's trying to be creepy and funny at the same time. Okay, so we have to go back to our base. The win the, uh, the quest is already broken. That POI is way too big. There's some custom POIs, uh, there's a limit to how big a POI can be in 7 Days to Die. So a lot of these custom ones like this, if they're too big, then the marker bugs out on them. And when the marker bugged out just now, I knew that we were already going to have problems. So when it said find trade, I was like, eh, will I be able to? The fog in A21 is just really too bad. They need to make it a menu option where they want to en enable or disable fog. But I 
Hello, spider. Even the spiders are broken. When they attack, they stand still. You have to go stand next to them for them to smack you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I need to make the generator. Generator. How long is it going to take to make this thing? 10 crystals. Do we not have any crystals left? I know I had to make the other uh, drop chest as well, but I thought we had some crystals. Uh, finding those crystals was so hard. We'd have to wait until morning. It's now 10, 11 at night. We have to wait until morning because we have to go swimming again to find more crystals. Did I not bring it over? I should have, right? Oh, we had 20, but we made two drop tests. One for there, one for here. Connect. Okay, uh, we have a lot of coin at least. That's awesome. Tier 4 quest. I think this the storyline quests are tier 4. It says out of how much? Out of 80. So I need 80 into quest to be un unlock the storyline. That's insane. So this is basically 80 quests. But at the moment, some of the quests are bugged. What do you do then? Okay. Um, let's go for cooking. I need to get the brewery station. Cooking. The more we unlock right now, basically, the better it's going to help us later. Let's level up once more. XP to next level, 40,000. See, to level up, you can easily go to the wasteland, but there's so many things spawning. And even though they only have like 100 HP, if all of them attack you and they stun you, you're dead. Dude, why not? Okie dokie, um, so the generator, we need 10 crystals. I wonder if I shouldn't go do this tier 5 clear first. In the morning we have to find a lake or something and go swimming. Like this over here. Unfortunately for some reason, small water sources like this don't count. It has to be a big source of water like this lake over here. Um, but I'm gonna have to go to the top because I've already swum across over here and yeah, we need 10 crystals now. I don't how long does it make to or take to make the generator in the in the first place? 30 seconds, not too bad. So we can start making some forged iron. Yeah, we have them. <laughs> generator. So literally all we need right now. Okay, we need mechanical parts. And that's it. Mechanical parts and crystals. We can actually just then do a little bit of wrenching too. The nice thing is if I go do that tier 5, we'll level up. And I need to level up for another one of those red notes for cooking. So I can get the brewery station. And as soon as we have the brewery station, we'll be able to at least that, get that quest line done. The resurrection table and the cloning quest line is now standing still until we have the generator for the cloning station. I feel like this mod is a little bit more grindy than Ravenhurst. I'm, I might just be crazy. But the, the fact that you need this to make that... Uh, <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm actually explaining our, our, um, our Ravenous there. I don't know. I, I prefer Ravenous way more than over this mod. Even Joke mod, I think, is, uh, in my opinion, better than this one. It's a fun mod, don't get me wrong. A lot of people might really, really enjoy this one. But for me personally, I actually prefer like Darkness Falls and Ravenous and those kinds of mods. Check my phone. I'll be right with you guys now. Probably also every now and then just stand up and stretch a bit. I've been sitting in the one spot for a few hours again. And my back's starting to act up again. I need to hit the gym hard. Basically, when I, when I lay down, I can't do a sit-up because my lower back feels like it can't hold my weight. And it's not like I'm super, super heavy or anything. It's just that my, my back is just that weak. It doesn't have that leverage in the low back. Uh, the rides in the amusement park are rideable. Just too many zombies in the place. Well, hey, Tony, welcome to the stream. 
I just realized you're the one that says it turned into a trade. <laughs> I'm so sometimes paying too much attention to what's going on in the game. I don't really pay attention to the comments. Or see who's joining chat uh, for a comment. I'll do this. Okay. Um, this thing needs a recycling station so you can put this stuff in there. I mean, it has that for corpses, but there's nothing for this. The funny thing is, I don't know if it's because I finished the quest, but I got five of the uh, level ups from that amusement park. I think it's also just the level of enemies that I was killing, even though it felt like I was really not doing anything there. Who of you guys actually play this mod and like really like this mod? Okay, I'm going to arrange the rest of the chairs quickly, but now we just need the crystals. We have NPCs, right? I'm going to bring the NPCs with me. I just realized I had NPCs, but I didn't bring a single one with me. The reason I picked the NPCs up is because they mix with, or they interfere with the traders. Come on. Probably make sure I have like coffee and mega crushes and stuff. Didn't I have mega crushes? I mean, this mod gives you so many steroids. I have like 344 steroids, but nothing for stamina. I'm kind of curious to see how Ravenous is going to uh, work on the s server. Especially now because the, the new server uh, service or server provider, what do you call it? Server company <laughs> that I'm going to be using are basically, uh, the, the server that I'm going to be going for has unlimited RAM. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but at least with an unlimited RAM, we don't have to worry about the RAM running out on Ravenous. The Ravenous is just one of those very heavy mods. Okay, I have three guns on me. This one I can put away now. That is a shame, man. A crying shame. Okay, for Horde Knight, I should probably just make sure I have this gun in the corner. And then do that one. And do this one. I wonder if there's a mod that allows you to uh, reload your weapon faster. I just feel like this thing reloads way too slow. I'm gonna do that so I know to drink it before I kill anything. Okay, uh, so we don't have any forge left over here. I could put some more iron in if I have. And then I'm kind of curious to see over here. It shows we still have some oil shale left. Oh yeah, uh, do any of you guys that know this mod know why this happens? It seems in the chem station, look at it, it says turn on. You have to be inside the chem station for 31 minutes now. That's why I have so much oil shale, no gas. The moment I leave this, because there's no option to put fuel in there. The moment I leave it, you see the fire just went out, it stopped. I have no idea how to fix that. I need fuel. I'm actually thinking of just spawning myself in the fuel for that. Because it's broken. It's not working. There's no fire source. Nothing of here. Hey, Bob. Welcome to the stream. I think I'm going to do that. Since we know it's going to give me five stacks of fuel. And it's taking 10k. Because at the moment, that is bugged. It's not working. 
And now this. See, it stopped again. We do that and we throw this away. Yeah, Tonya, I actually have it here. But I can't use it at the moment because I need to make the zombie guard over here. And I can't make this yet because I need the power supply of the generator. But I can't get the generator because I need 10 of the Caribbean crystals. We had 20. At the previous base that we had over there, I made a drop chest. And over here I made a drop chest. And because of that, now we don't have enough uh, crystals. I'm going to have to go all the way back over here and get them again. Hey, Zabib, welcome to the stream. Um, the Sun Cor Corby is a gun. Daijin is a gun. And Fried Badger is a gun. These guys, uh, these ladies have only crossbows. I need things with guns to follow me right now. So make sure. I know it's already saying it's following me. If the name shop top uh, top left, then uh, you've already told them to follow you. If you tell them to stay where they're standing, the names are going to disappear. I just want to make sure that I didn't tell them to stay before I pick them up. Sometimes that causes an issue. Okay, so... Almost morning, we can actually start heading over over there. We don't need anything from the vehicle trader, so I'm just going to go straight to the lake there. The problem with this is um, we have to go in the water and there are crocodiles. Crocodiles and even sharks. At least the sharks aren't as bad as the crocodiles. The crocodiles... Top left, what the hell? Lucin's following me all of a sudden. I put them away. I didn't even pick them up. Why is she on me? I never played there. Yeah, I never placed that. I only placed the gun to, um, NPCs. But the fact that it shows her name really bothers me. The yeah, only works as a chem bench. Might need to upgrade first. I can. I'm gonna try and see if I can't get through these quests. For those of you guys don't know, that don't know, I'm uh, I'm actually gonna not considering I'm gonna do it. Um, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday stream will be the last stream of this one because I want to focus on the new server that's gonna be opening up on Thursday. NZ ended yesterday. I didn't get to any like late game guns and stuff. Uh, but basically, I was level 100. My base was holding against the bosses. All that you now need are better guns, better ammo, and that's a lot of grind. If it was like a video series or something, or it was just a chill server, I'd actually do that. Uh, but basically, we were at the end of the game, except for the guns. And then for this one, I'm going to get through all of these quests as soon as possible, so I can actually leave Wednesday on a, like a good note. Tomorrow's going to be the stream. Uh, I mean, the, the horde night for the day 28 horde. Yeah, day 28 horde, and then on Wednesday, I'll put it to like day 70 or something. And by then, I'm hoping my base has enough turrets and stuff to deal with all the zombies. But on Thursday, we have a Ravenhurst server starting. So yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that as much as I am. I need to breathe, man. I'm talking too much. Stop running into my vehicle. I don't know why you're doing that. Okay, so it's still nighttime. It's dumb to go swimming now because zombies can swim better than me. This lady just decided to come on her own. I put her and her sister away. I don't know why she's here. I think I should just wait until morning before I enter the water. Are you a? That's a crocodile. I thought I heard a hissing sound, and then I saw a tail disappear into the water. Yeah, I need sunlight down there because it's going to be very, very dark. These NPCs can protect me while I'm not looking. <laughs> what are you shooting at? It's nothing. 
It's like I'm talking to the dogs here. What are you guys barking at? There's nothing there. <laughs> Okay. Ten crystals again, damn. And we had twenty, there's one over there. See how dark it is. From up here you can more or less see into the water. There's one there, one there. Where did that crocodile go? Right there. Oh, there's a lot of crystals over here. Oh, I didn't bring my mask with me. That was dumb. Don't push me. At least you can reach him from far away. What is that? Oh, that's a shadow? No, it's not. Is that a fish? Now it got dark. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, it's a manta ray. A fish ray, whatever. It's, wait, yeah, stingray. Fish ray. <laughs> I even got the scuba mask, but now I didn't bring it with me. It allows you to go underwater indefinitely without running out of air, if I'm not mistaken. I got it and never needed it again after. And the funny thing is later I found it in a quest as a reward as well. Damn, that's dark. Why can't I move? Hello? Okay, we have four. We need six more. I just hate this weather in the game. I don't mind it if you have to uh, like drive around. I love this kind of weather. But the fog makes it too, uh, too bad and it's constantly overcast in the game. It's almost never sunny. I don't know what seven days to lie in the sun looks like. I wonder if I'd be able to melee uh, an alligator. One over there. Oh crap. Hello. 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 I see you. It almost seems like they can shoot underwater, but I can't. My NPC just shot that thing underwater. Out of stamina. I need to get my stamina back first. Okay. Five more. Then I can make the generator. So laser focused on what's in front of me, there might be a shark or another one of these alligators over here without me even realizing it. There's something across the hill. That is no, that's a chicken. Look how dark that is. That's just a chicken. There's another crystal over there, but that's too deep. Hello, little wild turtle. Are you a snapping turtle? Are you gonna snap at me? I just, just see the movement in the water and then it turns out to be a... Alligator. If it was sunny right now, we'd have a, we would have had all of the crystals by now. Too dark, I can't see. You 
You know the bug in uh, A21? Uh, where it, it's due to the extra crouch that the game gives you now. So basically, when you crouch... Don't go over here. When you crouch and you move, you hug the floor even more. Sometimes when you uncrouch and you try and move, you're slow. You don't get fully uncrouched. That's due to that extra little bit of a, a, a crouch that you give. And I, I've noticed in the water as well, the movement is basically the same. Why? An aquatic bunny. Hello. Yes, son, please. Yes. And there was light. Yeah, my stamina is non-existent. It was the same in the park. When I went to the amusement park, it feels like my stamina is just bugged. I'm going to have to go into the stamina restoration. I, I think I have the... Oh, hello. I have the stamina skill over here. Very high. Not very high, but like 10 out of 30, right? So I have an extra 100 stamina. But my stamina regen is really, really slow. Where is that? Cardio. Roller. Iron oh, there you go. Cardio. Fortitude level 4. There's a crystal right there. There's two crystals right next to each other over there. If I can surface fast enough, I can shoot the alligators and stuff around me. There's another crystal to my left is right. Uh, left is right. Left, is, left as well. The second left is right was... No, yeah. I said it three times. The second left as right was me try, uh, trying to... Ha ha, wow. And then the third one was exactly the same. The crystal is deeper than I thought. And there's so many alligators over here. Come on. Ten. Yes, that's all we needed. I'm hoping I don't need more crystals later on because this is really ridiculous. If they can actually make the swimming skill faster. It feels like I'm crawling in the water. I've noticed though, if you're walking, depending on if you're swaying in the water or not, but sometimes when you walk over here on the, uh, the dirt, you actually walk faster underwater than you swim. This is me full sending it. I'm running. Now it's picking up speed, but this is me full speed. That's why I feel like something's wrong with the stamina. The food and water's all the way up. I don't know if the perhaps... Wait. I thought it might be the gun. I know in some mods, like in Wild West mod, if you have the Gatling gun, it slows you down. I just realized I have the vehicle on me. Hey, MD. Uh, yeah, I was crouching. In this game, when you crouch, it doesn't show you that you're crouching. Okay, so now we head back. It doesn't show you that you're crouching, and when your tools and weapons are modded, um, and it's on your belt, it doesn't show you that it's modded. I wonder if there's a newer version out of the mod that I'm supposed to get. When I started this stream series on this mod, um, I went for the latest update. NPCs move. Yes. See, you need these scroll tokens to be able to get laser guns. You should probably see what laser ammo I have. But it does feel like I'm constantly crawling for some reason. I don't know why I'm so slow. In Alpha 21, I know that if your water and food gets like at 50, 40, it doesn't have to be at 10 anymore. If it's like 40 or 50, you already start seeing like your stamina go down. But my food and drink are full, and then I'm still slow. Oop. This vehicle's getting destroyed. 16, 17k out of 45k. Damn. Also, this over here in Alpha 20, there was a trader up there. I saw a dude, I think his name is Rabbit Ares. He also does YouTube videos on uh, mods like this one. I think uh, this is basically one of his no mo known for mods. Like, I'm known for Darkest Falls, he's known for that. And, um, yeah, he in Alpha 20 had a trader up there, and he used it as a horde base. But for some reason, there's no traders. I've actually, actually did two of them, and there's no traders. 
And I have I have four of them on the map that I can go to. It's raining so loudly out there. And I was actually worried. There was no rain forecast. And then all of a sudden it said at 7 p.m. there's rain forecast. Half past seven, the start of thunder. And now, whoo, it's raining. It's pouring outside. It's like the earth is trying to cool down. Because like I said, even though it's autumn, nearly winter. Because for us, summer is uh, December, January, February, March, April, May. I'm just thinking English now. March, April, May is supposed to be uh, autumn. And then June, July, August, that's our winter. But it doesn't feel like it's cooling down. It's really, really friggin' hot over here. And I think that's why it's raining now so hard, even though it wasn't really forecast. Because it's trying to cool down the earth for autumn. I want to see over here. Yeah, as soon as here, Well, did I have a third one that disappeared on me, perhaps, and then now she's back? That's the only thing I can actually think of. Okay, generator. Generator, generator, generator. We have everything we need. We can make it in any workstation. I think we have to use this one, though, over here. Jenny. Generator. Um, I haven't leveled up again yet. I need to go into food for the number eight. As soon as cooking is eight, I can actually make the brewery station, and that's going to be the last one for that quest. So as soon as this generator is done now, we'll have this. Yeah, the human cloning ingredients, yeah. So we'll have this as soon as that's done. Uh, we'll have this as soon as that's done, because we can't do this without the generator as well. At least it's only 30 seconds. Imagine it was like 30 minutes. I kind of want to see quickly. Um, ammo. See, this is all the laser and sinew around. No, this is laser. Laser ammo over here. Now, the laser guns you buy with these tokens from those weird traders. But you have to have like a certain amount. So, I, I think you get these skulls also by completing quests like what I'm doing right now. I'm hoping. Because we need a lot of these tokens to buy like a proper, proper weapon. I just can't remember which trader had a buddy. It's either Trader Joel over here. Or Trader U, but I didn't see a buddy there just now. Or Trader U up there. I, I, but I remember there was another trader next to these guys. That was selling guns. Uh, and it, it's just... I don't know if all traders have a buddy and I just miss it. Because the, the vehicle trader only sells vehicles. But I know one of these traders actually has a dude with them in there. Okay, so animal cloning, human cloning. Two minutes, two minutes. I want to make another drop chest, but I'm not up for that right now. I think instead... No, um... Can you only make the big one? Mailbox. No, it's not the mailbox, right? It has to be like a drop box. Can you only make the large one? I thought you can actually make multiple of the small ones. Unless the small one was just like a, yeah, you go, yeah, there's something to help you out. I thought that was craftable. There's so much effort put into the UI and everything in this mod. If everything worked perfectly though, like for example the chem station that's a bug, that would be awesome. Okay, so I need to make... The guard. Zombie guard spawner. Human cloning ingredients. Which one was I making first? I can't remember. I'm hoping it's the human one that I did first, because then I can put the guard spawner in next. And you just hear footsteps downstairs. I actually want to see if I can't call in a screamer ward right now. Just level up from that. Oh, um, is there a screamer block or something in this one? No. I thought there might be a way to call screamers to you. Depending on the mod, there are things that can actually aggro them and call them in. Basically, I want to have a massive horde at the horde base and just focus on leveling, leveling, leveling right now. I need so many of those red notes, it's insane. The more red notes we have, the more we can spec into this over here. So I need a big horde. Uh, for horde note though, I still have to go and repair. Oh, I just realized they're trying to pass to me, but they don't know how. But yeah, for horde knight, I still have to go and upgrade that over there to steel, but I don't think we have enough iron. There is over here the iron maze, but I don't think that's going to be necessary for now. As long as I just go and upgrade the pillars to steel and put another ladder on that side over there, I think that should be enough. Be 
You guys good down there? This was animal cloning, damn it. Another one minute 40. This looks badass though, I like this. Although I need that guard thing to be created in the cloning station to put in here. To get something out of that. Put your zombie corpse in here. Uh, we'll take about five minutes. Wait, what? It'll take about five minutes seconds. Per zombie. Does it mean five in-game minutes or does it mean minutes minutes? I'm so confused. <laughs> they can't make it to me. For some reason, they're not parting properly. Look at this. They don't know how to walk on uh, on these security gates. I've never realized that before. Damn. Okay, so steel. We need a crucible, which we don't have, right? Yeah, I haven't really been mining and stuff. That maze over there is made out of iron. So I could technically go mine over there, grab all that iron and come back and make some steel. But first things first. Crucible. 100 forged. That's all. Yeah, all we need is a forged iron. Forged iron. There you go. 100. Oh, perfect. 100. That's exactly what we need for that. 14 seconds left. Come on, man. Come on. Now we take this. You're now ready to start making some clones. Please don't tell me I have to make a specific cl uh... Oh, okay, cool. Random guard spawner. Oh, but that's a, a guard spawner. This is a zombie spawner. I'm going to make the zombie guard spawner first. Oh, you need the empty cl cloning chamber anyways. Cloning chamber. Please don't be expensive. Please don't be expensive. Okay, so we're going to have to go level up first a little bit more because that's a little bit further into cloning. How much more? Five. I have to level up five times for that. And then Hans cloning chamber is going to take even longer than that. Damn. Okay, so... um. Yeah, I have to go level up. We'll have to go do some tier 5 quest, I think. I'll use the NPCs to clear the, uh, the place even uh, quicker. I think if I use the NPCs, it's going to be way, way, way faster. Food and drink. It feels like, like my food and drink is actually constantly low. Struggling to keep it up. The food, I mean. <laughs> okay, this is still crafting 9 minutes 50. Bread, bagels. What else can I make? Basket of fries. Yep. But, uh... Flower. I want to see if there's any food station we can actually use right now to make something. Spices. Fresh cheeseburger. Oh yeah, did we eat both those cheeseburgers? This is a coconut pie. And fresh cheeseburger. There you go. That's going to fill us up all the way with food. Will you guys watch Family Guy? Cool Whip. Uh, I'm gonna keep the coin on me. I was uh, considering leaving it behind, but with that coin, we'll later be able to then go and buy stuff from a trader if we're at a trader. Okay, so now question time. Tier 5 clear. See, these quests and everything go hand in hand. I've been focusing so much on just doing horde places and doing some of the like looting and stuff. That's why we're at tier 5 already. But I never really focused on uh, the, uh, the quest you have to do for Age of Oblivion side. It's like a fine balance. You have to level up enough to put points into that to be able to go further in this. I mean, if I didn't go for stamina and health like I have already, I would have been so much further behind. So I'm really glad I put the points into what I, did, I put in in the first place. 
What's with this view distance? Terrain quality is high. This is this affects how it spawns in, right? Distance will not update while playing a game. Oh, that's just how far you can see. Objects. Overall detail of entities and trees based on how far they are. Also the distance at which they will no longer be shown. So it's this. It's high, but constantly like the guard rays and stuff. I think that's why they say you need like 24 gig RAM for yourself. And if you do it on a server, the server also has to have 24. So client side, all players in the server has to have 24 and the server itself. Because um, it just spawns in stuff late. There's so much in this mod. It's such a meaty mod that you have to have other stuff as well. Other stuff, you know, you guys know what I mean. You need so much RAM just because there's so much. And even with the amount of RAM I have, it feels like it's not enough. Ooh, yeah, this POI. At least it's not Wasteland mod. I don't have to worry about, like, radiation from an enemy or something. And uh, Wasteland mod was really bad. There's this, uh... You, you guys, for those of you guys that have played Fallout, you know. It's like a radiator dude that if it gets close to you, it really messes you up. Oh, I dropped my... I dropped them. Wait, what? When did I put them away? I picked them up. I never put them away, did I? I put the, the crossbow ludes away. Oh, well. Let's see how far I can get. Actually hit one. Get all the dots to show up. I killed them before he exploded. There's some dogs over here as well. I want to keep this a little bit quiet. A little bit stealthy. Because I know how tough this pure eye can be. There's vultures either up here or up there. And there's a hidden stash up there as well. There's also zombies that spawn in very late over here. So I need to go plug a hole before they spawn. I don't know if it spawns the same in each mod. Perhaps different mods have different spawning ways. That table's in the way. That's so messed up. The final stash is down there. Okay, and then over here... That over there is fake. I need to fill that in with a full block. If I don't, the bottom is going to flood as soon as the zombie starts spawning in. So you do this. You fall in, and you put that in. Plug the hole. Later when the zombies start to move, when they spawn in over here, they will try and break that, so you have to be careful. You have to go for them quickly. The nice thing is, because I've played so many mods, a lot of the mods use the same POI, so I get used to what you have to do in which POI. I wonder if I can... Depending on the mod, this would not have worked just now. Okay. When did these zombies spawn in again? I forgot. The moment I go inside, right? It's been a while since I've actually seen this POI.
Okay, when you stand here, these ones now also woke up. Nope, they did not. Wait, what? I like this gun. Feels like it has just the right amount of stomping power. Look at all the oil shale on the walls of here. Um, hey there, welcome to the stream. What is this, the, uh, what does the mod actually, <laughs> it adds a lot. It adds really a lot, like new guns, new zombies and enemies. Uh, all the zombies, like the, the kernels and all those things that you see in mods like War of the Walkers and stuff, they're in here as well, even clowns and all those things. And, but, but they're like feral and they make these grunting boss noises. Uh, the buff behemoth from Darkness Falls, the old one that was like really buff, and the house janitor from War of the Walkers is in this as well, but just like random mobs. Um, there's a, in the wasteland especially like spiders and creatures, creepy crawlies and bugs and there's a lot of new zombies in this thing. I dying. Yeah, so new guns, new enemies, new pure eyes. Uh, well, it's a pip map that we're all used to by now. Well, it's not super, super new, but yeah, it's new enough. See, this over here is fake. Mess up our uh, fast Coca-Cola and energy drinks and stuff, make your teeth yellow. At the moment, because I'm, uh, I have like a nasal drip kind of thing, I, I'm drinking this just to cut the phlegm. Makes it thin out a bit so it's easier to speak. Sometimes you get to think like... <clears throat> you have to clear your throat. How many times on the server did we clear this place before I realized, oh, you can do that? Is a hole up there? I never realized there's a hole there. Wait, what? I wonder if that's all the zombies in the pool now. There's supposed to be a ton of zombies spawning over here, and the moment they do, it causes a lot of lag. But I need to kill them before they uh, spread a little bit. If they spread too far, the problem is um, they, they'll, they'll try and destroy the hole that I plugged. It's a kind of a silencer or the suppressor if you use it but it doesn't work. Yep, yeah, they spawned in. It came out of a hole over there. I need to go check what that hole is. I never realized there's a hole down there. Let's see, if you don't do what I'm doing right now, that hole that I plugged over there, they actually go towards that hole and then break through and they climb into the building that way. It also starts to flood the whole area. And some zombies inside just woke up as well. I have to be careful. Let's see where they came out after we're done with this place. It looked like they came out of the wall over there. It's the first time I've, I realized where they come from. I thought they just spawned in.
Gorlock the Destroyer. Oh, clearly Glo uh, Gorlock does. Oh crap. <laughs> I thought I was being clever and fast enough. Okay, there's a uh, button over here that opens up the final door, but if now we first clear out these places. And you have to do it from far enough away so the rest don't hear you. So the button that we were to press there would have uh, done something on that side with fire. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible right now. Did you just move? They did. Why? I can't interact with that bo those books. Are they part of the table? No, they're not. Why can't I loot them? That's bizarre. Good night, Drip Joe. See, over there, there's fire. To get that fire to stop, you do this. And to open up this door over here. This bathroom over here. There's still gonna be a ton of, like, like a ton of zombies at the final stash, so we have to be careful of that. Look how big the corners in this mod. All on that side over there. Are they above me or below over here? I think they're above. Basically, they're gonna fall in my head if I make too much noise right now. Hey, Skaterbug, welcome to the stream. I should have first gone and uh, cleared the top before I did anything else over here. We can get to that section easily by going outside. I'll lockpick. Uh, let's lockpick this. Uh, basically, what we can do is go outside, go to the one place on the pool where I jumped in. That fence over there, you can kill the zombies there. They just spawned in. There's zombies over there and zombies over there.
As soon as this is done, I want to see where the hell these guys are coming from. See, I thought this would be over here. Oops. Now, it's just the dogs downstairs, so there shouldn't be anything else left. I'm going to quickly check on the uh, hidden stash over there, but there's also landmines. There's landmines over here, but... Oh, is that a hidden stash again on this side? There you go, hidden stash. Are these zombies only going to spawn in now when I fall inside of you? Where did they come from? It feels like they're just popping out of the walls. That, and then also by the pool. I want to check the pool before we go for the dogs. For the dogs, you can actually just fall down this pillow over here. Or, there's the hatch over here that can lead downstairs as well. Oh, yeah, we'll probably have to go down for the dogs first. Basically, sometimes you can open up this hatch over here without really doing much. Um, Where's this over here? Is this where they came from? The zombies just now. I know you can fall down at the end and you have to kill dogs, but you have to be careful because there's uh, water down there. But there's another way down to the dogs in the first place. I think it's by the fire. I could have sworn there's a way down of here somewhere. Oh, that's the pool. Am I missing something? Aren't we supposed to have like a walkway down to the dogs? You can see I haven't done this uh, PR on my own in a while. Okay, they just fall in the way we're supposed to fall in then. Uh, Matt, only when moving. This is so messed up. That finished the quest just now, right? But there's supposed to be dogs in here. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Where are the dogs? I didn't spawn any dogs just now. Now they spawn in a little bit late. I'm already out, guys. Already out. They're technically when you're supposed to when you fall into the hole, they're supposed to spawn in. I just got lucky. Oh, I didn't take an XP elixir again, damn it. I need to take XP elixirs because I need three points right now. No, I need five points, five levels. I wonder how easy or difficult it is to call in a screamer horde in this mod. Because if I can face the screamer horde, we can just do that to actually get the, the levels up. Hey Panto, welcome to the stream. Uh, bought an SLI two days ago and having the best time of learning the game. Yeah, this mod, this game is awesome. Um, just remember, this is a mod that I'm playing right now. It's not vanilla. But you came to the right channel if you actually want to learn about uh, the different mods. Because I basically cover mods. I almost never play vanilla, except if it's uh, to, like the initial release. And then I cover like all the mods as they come out. Well, no, all, I've covered most of the mods. 
I still have to do like Cryptocalypse, Outback Roadies, uh, Sorcery Mod. I think there's like four or five mods that I haven't tried, but everything else I've tried. And you'll see from my channel as well, I love punishment. SMG. Olga. And now he wants to be paid. Let's make a pact. Infested, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get my NPCs first. I wanted them to help me. I don't know why I dropped them. It's that POI over there, I think. But I first need to get my NPCs. They love helping you clear out a POI. I leveled up once. I need to do four more. Although, like I said, do I try a Screamer Horde? And how much does it take? How long does it take to call, uh, call in a Screamer Horde? Because I, I don't think I've seen a Screamer so far in this mod. Even in Ravenhurst, I've seen a Screamer. She screamed and nothing spawned. So I'm wondering if some mods just don't have them. Yeah, vanilla is fun. Don't get me wrong, vanilla is awesome. Um, if you don't if you don't know the game, vanilla is perfect. But after a while of doing the same game, I have 8,500 hours in this game. So for me to play vanilla over and over and over again, the mods add a different vibe to it. You, you get more with the, the mods with it. If that makes sense. The more mods you play, the, the more of a variety. It's basically every mod is a different game. It adds new things to it. Only some of them have a chance to get into these papers, it seems. Okay, and we have to go for cloning, right? Yeah, cloning. Boom. I should have made a drop chest up here because it's easier to dump stuff then. So this one fires... What ammo? Nine more. Finally have a gun for nine more. I think it's better than the pistol. Yes, finally. I made the Tommy gun. Because I wanted to have something to, uh, that fires automatic... Uh, ooh, spare shotgun. Um, I, I made the Tommy gun because I thought it's going to fire 9 more, but it fires 0.44, which I love. Because I've always wanted a gun that can fire 0.44 automatically. 0.44 is usually just like the Desert Vulture or something slow. I have a level 5 Orgo already. I think mine should be good, right? This one's block damage is 0, .0. Eh, it's fine. It's just a point something better. And I have to see where the hell I dropped my NPCs. We like thought I had them on me. But all of a sudden they're not there anymore. V8 juice. That's a lot of water. I think since we need to fill ourselves up like a lot, we have to get the best of the best on us. Ooh, that might work. Yeah, if I, if I put a ton of wooden frames and burn them, so will a screamer show up? We'll go do the tier 5 infestation, uh, infestation anyways, because I'm going to see how much I can level up. I'm hoping whatever the NPCs kill, I get a, uh, HP or XP, I mean, uh, for as well. Um, that. Uh, I'm going to put the guys down inside the POI so they actually follow me properly. And also, when you go to different floors, you have to make sure to pick them up. Because sometimes they can't pass a certain way and then they just disappear on you. But right now we have to focus on that leveling. During Horde Night, because of most of those explosives, so far the hordes themselves have been tiny. But since we have that modlet from Aramis that allows us to have 96 spawn instead of 64, hopefully the next Horde Night is gonna be huge. I have to make sure we have enough turrets on the roof though. I thought it's gonna be this one over here. Oh, that's Vanity. Oh guys, I thought Alpha 22... Oh, that's this place. 
I thought Alpha 22 is going to have like the same, uh, no, uh, consoles going to have the same version as we do, but it's not. It's two different versions. The console version is going to have less buildings and stuff that we have in. Oh, this might be awesome. But yeah, basically, a yeah, console version is, it's not going to be uh, cross-platform compatible. Uh, because you're basically going to have to have certain... Uh, a lot of the POIs won't have as much detail in them. Some POIs might be removed completely because it just eats up the RAM. Because I thought, how the hell? The game's not optimized yet. Even my beast of a PC sometimes struggles. Now on console, they're going to run it. Even though the best-gen consoles can't handle this game. Not because of the console, but because the game is not optimized. Hey guys, follow me. Follow the Johnster. Uh, I should probably open up the doors for you because you guys get stuck for some reason. Wait, what? Guys, please, it's just a door. Oh yeah, before I forget. Ward Knight's going to be fun with this gun. I think it stacks three times and no more. I check in the cupboard and I stand on the head. Oh, I need more ammo for this thing. I need to put it in the drum mag or something. It shoots way too little. Is that other dude still stuck over there? At least the reload of this one's a little bit faster than the rest. Still slow, but at least faster than the other gun. Wait, what did I do with the other gun? Oh, I put it away because we ran out of 7.62. My NPCs all fall down now. Hopefully if they kill some enemies outside, I'll also get the XP for that. They're useless, man. They're useless. Did you just do <laughs> Drama Queen? I shot him and uh, late he went zoo, flung himself. There was no reason to go flying just now. Oh, they're all here. Nice, they teleported. Sometimes when they get far enough away from you, they decide, ooh, let's quickly go back. This leads. No way. He's gonna kill my NPCs. And the the uh, the bridged version of uh, Dragon Ball Z, where the uh, where the androids hit them in the crotch the whole time. <laughs> it keeps hitting me in the dick. They're weak. They, they shoot the guys, but they don't really kill them. Probably have all the boxes, but I'm mostly interested in leveling up right now. That's my goal, man. See, the right headshot every now and then can do some serious damage. What the hell are you guys shooting at? What the hell? They saw the zombie next door. They saw through the wall and saw her and tried to shoot her through the wall. Move, 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 move. If I die on the spikes, I'm going to be so mad at you guys. Come on, dude. You can make it. You can do it. I think the different sound profiles that they've given the zombies so far. 
Basically, the, the 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 tourist that you guys know now was the old cop sound. The cop sounded like him. Now the cop, you can't even imagine the cop with a different sound. Same with from Alpha 20 to Alpha 21. They changed the lumberjack sound. He actually sounded like a big um, frozen dude, like uh, the, the noise he made. Now, every time I hear that noise, I'm like, what zombie is that? Who's that? Oh, I put the wrong pistol. Uh, okay. I remember I modded this one. I, t I put the wrong gun away. I just realized that. Come on. Seriously? Move. 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 There you go. This is infested. I'm this to like Tongo mods infested and this is nothing. Those of you guys that don't know, Tongo mod is basically like a vanilla mod. Oops, run. Tongo mod was like a vanilla mod that had a ton of zombie spawning, like a ton. Wow, the bleed does a lot of damage. Damn. In this mod, you take damage very weird. It's, it's exponentially. Like, you're fine, and all of a sudden, you're not fine. Leave my man alone! <laughs> it just happened to be a female zombie as well. Get my wife's name out your mouth! I didn't even level up once from there just now. That was way too few zombies. And to repair this thing. It's weird. At my day, day 24, I'm still using a um, stone axe. I wonder how much is faster. At the moment, I'm using the, uh, the auger. But I don't think it actually benefits from the tool of the uh, Age of Oblivion tool skill. The reason my axe can swing this fast is because of that tool skill. The the pickaxes and shovels, they could do it as well, but the auger just feels slow. Never just my imagination. Wonderful world of imagination. Imagine oh, I got infected by those dudes. At least you don't degrade weapons when repairing them in this mod. One of the bonuses. Do I have honey on me? Nope. Oh, wolf pack. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Oh, don't kill my dude. Don't you dare, lady. I know you're hungry, but damn, that's mine. She steals the food, she goes for the food. There's more wolves over there. I miss these wolves. I think it was Alpha 19 or 18. I had a ton of these always just coming uh, around. Wandering wolf packs. Let me be careful, the wolves aren't bad, but the dire wolves. Ho ho ho. Yes. The loot bags are super rare, but when they do drop, they're amazing. I could have sworn there was another wolf out. Hello. As long as I pick my NPCs up before they die. They'll heal themselves. Which mods puts the stats bar above the hot bar? Oh, uh, what do you mean stats bar?
You mean like this, like HP, stamina, food, and drink? Oh wow, that takes a whole thousand off my vehicle's HP every time I hit something. Um, There's a few actually, uh, I, I know this one does. Which was, there's another one that I've just recently played that also has it. I play so many mods. <laughs> After a while, with the amount of mods that I play, they just blur together. But I usually play with the mods where they are, the food and water is on the side. Because on vanilla, the, the stuff's underneath the hotbar and it's so small you can't even see it. I have someone in chat can, uh, can actually comment if they know of a mod. Because I know there, there are a few mods that do it, but I just can't remember the, the, which ones do and which ones don't. I think there's very few actually put the bar... What the hell? Very few actually put the bar like that. Okay, where's your friends? They just jumped here from 400 meters away. But yeah, basically, uh, I think there's two or three mods that does that, and most of the mods actually put it on the bottom left over here, which I actually prefer. What do you want? I've got work. Yeah, yes. Vanity Tower. I know. Eat. Mmm, burger. Okay, I should probably first go get my other gun, but with the NPCs, we should be able to do this, right? Right, right. They also heal themselves the moment I put them back down again. I can tell you which ones have the fire mod installed. <laughs> Depending on your computer, if you have the fire mod active, it can really cause some lag. I'm still infected. There's nothing on me that can heal the infection, right? Poor horse. Notice that the NPCs in this game, the, the horses and stuff, are immortal. The dogs... Ooh. Uh, the dogs, the... Anything that you can actually get as a friend, as a pet... They're immortal. They can take hit after hit after hit and they're fine. Oh, I just woke up so much down there. Oof. Now I have to wake up even more. Wait, where's the race? I just picked them up. Oh, I put them in my vehicle, didn't I? I'm gonna have to go outside and quickly get the vehicle again. I think we'll be able to open up the uh, doors of the air quickly. Come on, dude, you can do it. I believe in you. Where's my vehicle? Batmobile. Okay, I've gained another level. I have to put that into cloning as soon as possible. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Follow me. Why are you not taking her down? She's right there. I'm not going to loot anything right now. I just want to level up. I want to continue, man.
But this thing you have to burst fire. Otherwise, the cursor gets too big. If you hold the, uh, the button down, this cursor gets so huge, you miss. Move, 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 move. Hopefully every now and then they'll keep teleporting to me like they've been doing the whole time. I need the help, man. Sometimes they get stuck on stuff and then they just completely bug out and they never recover. I hate it when that happens. Come on, move. The button for that is upstairs somewhere. I think there's loot on the other side, but not much. Just like one or two items. Oh! I didn't see what I just dropped. Sometimes stuff just scares the crap out of me. They, they pop up out of nowhere. I'm all to... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on guys, there's zombies lying all over. Go shoot them. Wake them up for me so I know where they are. Oh, look at all those dots. They're upstairs as well, mostly. Is either mutated or pop upstairs? Oof, the loot bags are filling me up. The nice thing about this mod is uh, the, they don't really drop that many bags, but when they drop, ooh boy. Okay, so I think I need to go up over here. Next floor, baby. Come on, guys, teleport to me. I'm right here. You can do it. I believe in you. This feels more like an infested than the previous one. I mean, is it tier... No, it's, the other one was a tier 5 as well. Where's the doggos and the vultures? I've done this POI way too many times already. Hello, copper. They're too far away. Oh, you guys scared the crap out of me just now. I just saw something popping beside me. <laughs> we have here, there's a ton of big boys and girls. Come on, comes to Papa. I think the burst mod allows you to hold down the button without the cursor getting too big. Just like I'm click, 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 clicking to make sure I don't waste ammo or to make sure the cursor doesn't get too big. I think the burst mod actually helps your gun do that automatically. Every time I hear stuff cave in like that, I'm like, what the hell did you guys just trigger? Be careful sometimes these uh elevators trigger just as you pass uh pass them so you think they're okay you're safe and all of a sudden they open up
Just before the last floor, I have to pick them all up so they can fall into that one room with me. There's one room that gets so insane. Move, 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 move. It gets so insane, you need the help. In Tongo mod, I got overrun with, with even with the massive fire rate and stuff in that mod. There's a skill that allows the M60 to just go... Trrr. Even with that, I wasn't able to even really survive uh, that well. Where's Daijin? He's too far away. I like being able to tell where the zombies are and where to pass to. Like a dungeon style. Like for some reason I took that out um, an alpha or two ago. It used to be you have to exactly path a certain way otherwise you can't get out or in or whatever. Now, you, it's up to you where you want your path to. It's like, okay, sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to tell you what to do. Uh, yeah, let's remove it for you. Okay, now this part, my NPCs are gonna fall. They're definitely gonna fall. I'm hoping they just teleport to me, though. Ooh, have to be careful. <laughs> Superb. This infection is going to get worse and worse and worse right now. Okay, so we're supposed to path this way. Supposed to path here. Supposed to go over here. Let's do the bathroom. We were there just now, so we keep going. Where's the dogs? There's supposed to be a dog soon, I think. Daijin, please just don't die down there. I think they're waiting for me to be in an open space before they teleport back up to me again. When they do, I have to be careful because they're definitely going to jump scare me. Oh, hello. Sometimes when they get stuck... Are you, Corby? Sometimes when they get stuck like that, they just don't get unstuck. You lose them. They're a little bit on the slow side. I think we're supposed to go through the kitchen. Let me just see. I know there's a section where that has a ladder and stuff as well to give you like a backup in case you do it wrong. And go up over here. Who's yeah? Hello, copper. What do you guys think about um yes today's episode of Ravenist? <laughs> Getting stuck in that uh, room and then having that uh, radiated cop exploded. No, it wasn't. Was it radiated? But yeah, having that cop explode in my face. That was fun, right? I can't believe I survived that, though. They came down all offended and then just stopped running all of a sudden. How dare you! Now we go over here. For those of you guys new to 7 that I basically just follow the lights. See how over here there's a torch pointing this way? That means you have to go this way.
That floor is supposed to cave in, but it didn't. So I have to be careful of that. You can carry your bicycle and jump to it to teleport them to you. Uh, it only works sometimes. Sometimes they tell, uh, if you don't drive far enough with a vehicle on you, uh, then they actually... Oh, we can go down. If you don't drive far enough, they actually... Like, you just climb in your vehicle, climb out, they go back to where they were. At least the times I've tried it. Geronimo! Above me. I've definitely had some rebellious whippersnappers in my time. But I've used that trick before, but some, like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's all up to whether they feel like it or not. There's a dog kennel over there. That reload was the first reload that the gun did on its own. So far I've been reloading as I'm walking to make sure that I'm actually out of, uh, not running out of ammo. Awesome starter just now. If that was on the server, it would have kicked me. Hello, doggy. Uh, uh, no worries, um, Sonia. I actually prefer when people comment uh, tips and tricks. Even, uh, even though I might know something, someone else might not. And I don't always mention everything. I try my best to mention stuff when I, get, when I can. But I don't always mention things and people are like, huh, how did you do that? How did you do that? So by uh, people commenting uh, that and tips and tricks and stuff, it actually helps. Where the hell... There you go. What the hell? I knew there was one behind me. But then I saw the other one. I was like, okay, I'm supposed to go for that one. Damn, 5% infection. And the NPCs just aren't coming back to me. I'm going to have a really hard time later. The one room that you have to fall into, there's an insane amount of enemies. Like, really bad. Imagine that I had to reload just now. I have to get the other gun. I, the fact that I left the other gun alone is really bad. Just because I modded this gun with the pistol's mods, I accidentally put the other gun away instead of the pistol. We're supposed to go there. There is no hope. What are you talking about? I'm still alive. I'm the hope. <laughs> Confidence much. It's nice to actually get those headshots in. Because the headshots really do work. Where are they? Okay, I'll definitely... Let's just... Uh, my, my vehicle's downstairs. But let me just try and uh, jump on the Batmobile. Ho 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 ho. Nice try. Nice try. I'm supposed to go down there, though. But we were down there anyways. No point in going down there again. Headshots, John. Oh, 
Oh, that almost pushed me off just now. I bumped my head and I went left instead of right. Okay, we're finally at the roof. Now, NPCs, I really need you guys. I think they got stuck on something and now I'm feeling the pain. Which way? Left or right? It's over here from the rooftop. I wonder if I shouldn't do this. Especially as my NPCs aren't here to help. What the hell? I'm shooting through the vulture. Look at all those dots, and that's not even close to the final amount of zombies. I think some of the red dots are also inside this room. You're basically supposed to climb down that ladder over there. Uh, next time try and bring a bicycle with when you get in and out of the vehicle NPCs will manage to yeah I know about that but I just uh, don't, don't usually carry around two vehicles and like I told Tony just now as well sometimes they don't uh, do that They uh, even though you oh crap didn't see you even though uh, sometimes they're supposed to teleport to you other times they don't I've had it before, we have to drive a certain distance before they actually teleport to you. But I could always just put over one over here and lock the slots. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, I thought I said like two layers I. That's dumb, John. Never assume. I need to level, man. I need to level. Okay, so yeah, this is this was the easy part. Now the hard part. You them a raise. It's a poor company, it's a startup. Don't have the money, man. Okay, so yeah, this now this way gets difficult. The amount of zombies that come from over here, I wonder if I can't just drop down one window and do it that way around. Especially without the NPCs, I don't want to get caught down there with this gun that only fires a certain amount of shots. If I can jump down one floor and grab the window. Get myself into a corner and block myself off for the frames. Okay, it's right there. Let's see if I can actually do this. I've never done this before or tried this before. I can always just keep doing this until I'm in a safe location. Oh, they all just woke up, anyways. Okay, I want to get to a corner where they're not at. Focus so much, my mouth just doesn't, uh, doesn't want to close. Close your mouth, you're catching flies. This is the first time I've done this and it actually works really well. Crap, clever, 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 clever. Okay, done. Uh, good 
Prob oh, hello, safe. I could probably have done that. Let me just quick check over here. Uh, yeah, we might have been able if I broke that. It doesn't have that much HP. In Tongo mod, they, like where the gun goes... <laughs> I was over here, I was getting overrun from all sides. It was insane. Was it on a server or someone... We did one of these um, somewhere. I don't know if it was a single player series or a multiplayer server. But there was a fire over here by the final stashes. I think it was on the server. Back when audio and them were still active on the server as well. Basically, the, uh, this, these boxes were burning so fast, we had to stand in the fire and really loot everything. I might have to go back to the steel pickaxe. The auger doesn't benefit from that other tool skill. Typically, this over here, tool damage and speed. Raises block damage and attack speed, but the auger is slower than the steel pickaxe. It's just nice having the auger instead of having a shovel and a pickaxe on me. Okay, so that was everything, right? Or did I miss a room? So that was a, we a weapons bag just now. Okay, my vehicle is on this side, so we're going to drop down on this side. Geronimo! Ooh, this would have been bad if I jumped over here. The whole side of the buildings collapsed over there, so I would have taken some serious fall damage. There you guys are, you buggers. Yep, so there you go. Now you guys decide to show up. Only one level up from that whole building. I need more infested, I think. Yeah, I need three more. Um, I wonder if I should call, try, try and call a Screamer. Although I don't know how fast the Screamer will actually react, whether they are Screamers or not. The easiest way to level right now would just to be to get the Screamer to show up. With like a massive Wandering Horde or something. Or Scream Horde. Some tier 5 infestors aren't really tier 5. It keeps doing that. Every time I get off, it does that. Nope, 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 pick me up. Those of you guys that don't know, don't know, most mods have a bug at the moment still. Where if the NPCs enter over here, your cursor gets big, you can't reload, you're out of breath, your stamina's low. It's a bug, it breaks the trader. So do not let your NPCs follow you inside a trader. It might work Time for now, and then later it's gonna be broken. Now, Adrian, you don't well, looky here, boys. We got ourselves a real life hero, and now he wants to be. <laughs> yeah, Tony, uh, that's, the, that's the easiest way I've ever, actually ever done that POI. If you fall in that hole and they all swarm you in that one center, yes, steel variable shapes. I'll be able to replace blocks now with steel instead of upgrading to steel because I don't have the steel. Auto turret bundle, we'll go for this one. Now we have to wait for. Listen up, jackass. Nah, I'll wait for tier sixes. Show some respect. I could just quickly re-log, because on a single player, if you re-log, you get the update. But, let's go back to the base quickly and see if we can't get that screamer to show up. Steel. Cobble, cement. Do you sell iron? Very few of them actually sell iron. Even if it's to a bag like you. Let's try. I mean, I'm gonna have to see which building's close to me, because I'm in between the two cities. So I'll have to see exactly which buildings I need to burn now. But you can see this mod eats RAM. Because stuff uh, spawns in way too late. Police vehicles, barricades. 
stuff that's supposed to be there from the start, but because there's already so much spawned in, so much taking RAM, the game is like, ah, uh, it's not important. Until you get closer, like, oh, it might be a little bit important. Oh, that was painful. I'm too stubborn to turn around. We have enough Molotovs so I can actually go and burn down trees. If we don't find any POIs to burn. I did you put a point or two into vehicles as well so I can repair it without um, using too many repair kits. See, there's no real wood buildings over here. We have a ton of trees. If I could get one screamer to follow me, Bash, but uh, how long is that going to take? I'm going to see if I can actually burn. A, a tree should burn, right? Let's try. Because trees would, so technically it should. In this mod, could we pick up... I think we could, right? Um, wooden chairs. If I place the wooden chairs down like I was going to uh, break them, like with uh, office chairs, that might also work. I'm going to see if I can't get a POI close by that's wood and just let us scream. Perhaps burn some, but that's mostly concrete. See, most of the buildings around me are concrete. And I need them over here so we can use the horde base to help ourselves, defend ourselves. I think I scrapped most of the wooden chairs though. Let's just see. No, I didn't. I don't know if this will work really well, but I mean, they should work, right? These chairs are all wood. Nice. Yeah, I might just have to do that. Let's just first see if this works. I mean, this is going to add heat to the heat, uh, to the map anyways. And then if we can do the fires as well, that might help. Because basically, I want to face them at the ward base. I wonder first, though. Before we do that, they just fix this up over here. Just before it breaks. Steel block. Copy shape. Copy rotation. This is the block the zombies mostly... I need to fix the floor. The floor is too low, so they might hit the bottom block. Although, since it's so low, they're more likely to hit the top block instead of the third block. They mostly only went for these pillars over here, so I wonder if it's even uh, necessary to replace them. Most of the walkway needs to be steel, but even then, it didn't really take that much of a beating. I have all these steel blocks and nothing to use them for. I could perhaps put, like, um, a metal floor, an iron floor over here. But I don't know if that's going to work. I should probably just make my own steel. I'm so bloody loser. I think I'll keep the steel on me so during Horde Night, when they break stuff, I can just replace the blocks. That will be the best bet right now. And this over here I opened up. I need to put a hatch in here. I opened this up during um, night time. During Horde Night because I wanted to be able to throw stuff down at them. But now we'll just do that so I can't accidentally fall. I wonder if this is close enough to burn. Do they have to be touching, touching for them to burn? Yeah, they're on fire. No, they're not. That's wood. Why did they not burn? In a pure eye, they would have definitely burnt. There you go. That was the fire I'm looking for. Nope. Okay, I'll have to put the group on top of each other.
See, I'm making so much work for myself. Another thing that would have worked is, like you said, the campfires. And I could have used the chairs as fuel for them. I mean, I have enough wood to do this, uh, to play around like this, but it's still, I'm hoping it's gonna do it fast. I need to also go eat and drink some vitamins and stuff. Hello, psycho. And they stopped burning. I'm gonna have to use the campfires. That's so dumb. Okay, um... I just realized we don't even have really herbal, and herbal antibiotics or any kind of antibiotics over here. Damn. I need to see if I can't find some... Um, wait, can you make your own honey? Uh, beehive. Nope. I don't get why I put that away. That was so dumb of me. I'm hoping there is actually a screamer in this mod. Because like I said, I haven't seen one at all so far. And we have had a ton of stuff burned down too. It's a shame these can't stack. This mod actually needs a screamer block. Okay, I think that's all of them. And can I pick any of these up? The ones that didn't get hit by the fire didn't take any damage just now. It seems they have to literally be physically touching and have no spaces in between. I think since these are counts as like loose items, they burn individually instead of um, as a group collectively. time doesn't say five would be eight minutes 25 five as well okay so if, uh, this counts as well one two three four five 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 it's a shame you can't just shift click it in and it registers as fuel Unfortunately, the even the infested quests take way too long to spawn, uh, do a level up. But if we can get a proper big horde from this, like from a screamer horde, then it's going to help us level up. Just want to make sure not to kill any of the screamers. See, this works so much better. I don't know why I didn't just do this from the start. I don't have enough fuel for all of the... Campfires. So I'm still standing on some as well.
A 10 per one basically. Okay. Are you kidding me right now? No. There's nothing here as a placeholder. How the hell did that happen just now? So you're telling me at any given time there can be a vehicle just spawning inside your uh, stuff? Like, what the hell? I need to replace this floor over here. I think I should replace the floor with the steel that I have. Like this floor over here is just... Ah, that's giving me, like... Uh, it's making me nervous. How many repair gates I'm going to have to go through just to repair this whole vehicle? But if I can put some points into the vehicle quickly. Grease monkey. Just doing that. Oh, just two points. Look at that. Boom, full. Two points make a huge, huge, huge difference. Okay, now whether this is going to call a stream or not, I don't know. Hopefully this is still part of the chunk. Like me leaving the chunk right now to go to my base. Hopefully that's not going to stop the zombies from coming. But this should be still enough, more or less uh, close enough for it to count. I wonder if there's a resource trader. If there's a vehicle trader and other custom traders next, like buddy traders, next to the, uh, the normal traders. Does that also mean there's like special um, resource traders? That'd be kind of cool. I think I check what I did on the roof. Did I put turrets? I can't remember. I'll, I, I, I think I had two turrets up there. But now we have extras of here. What is this? SMG turret. Nice. I hear her. I hear her. I hear her. Yes. Okay. And now also drink. Hello, stream, my lady. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Be a butterfly. He's just gliding on in there, dude. Where the hell's that fire? There you go. He was hitting me through the blocks just now. Okay, so XP elixir. This katana dude looks badass. You fall down over there. Perfect design. Only thing I have to fear right now is the stuff that can uh, vomit explosives at me. Dragon. Come on, more zombies. I'm gonna get overwhelmed by a streamer horde. If this was Darkness Falls, I would have had to run away by now. Because in Darkness Falls, these Screamer Hordes are like demons and... Uh, with my current game stage and insane difficulty, it's just non-stop demons and behemoths. Is that Chainsaw Dude? I think I definitely have to work on the floor because some of them just stand underneath. They can't climb the ladder. Oh, I don't think they can climb the ladder with stuff in their hands. So if I were to put a staircase on this side, that might actually help them. I think now I click that that actually is a possibility.
Come on, scream. Nothing. She forgives easily. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, took your head off. Just the one streamer. She's done streaming now. Oh, there's an airdrop over there. Are you done? I just want to kill her. She's not spawning anything else in. Yeah, these screamer hordes need work. Uh, turrets. I knew I had. I know I had ammo in there. Yeah, I still have shotgun. So I should put the uh, the SMG turrets on that side. Yeah, <laughs> darkness falls. It's only getting worse and worse and worse and worse. You can see the uh, the hordes I'm getting at by like Thursday's episode. It's just like I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, uh, there's no more screamers spawning in, and... Oh, hello, there's one. Are you coming? Honey, I'm home. I'm trying to kill this useless one over here. It seems, it seems she only has, like, one or two screams, and that's it. At this rate, the quest will be better at actually leveling up. Yeah, I don't think the chainsaw dudes can actually climb a ladder over here. So if I put a staircase in, that might actually help them. Or I could just make sure that I have holes like this all over so I can throw grenades down during Horde Night. Yeah, scream your lungs out, lady. I don't get why they do that. You should be able to get up over there. Yes, another one. For some reason, when these guys spawn in, they just stand still like this, uh, spiders. I love it when the screamers spawn in other screamers and it's just like a non-stop loop. That's what I'm looking for right now. I wonder if the Wandering Horde, uh, clown can also spawn in more clowns. I technically don't want to kill him just to see if he spawns in clowns. <laughs> No, he can. He actually has a way of spawning in clowns sometimes. One level. Okay, so at least we are leveling slowly but surely. I need two more levels. Oh, you're just tweezing my wing. How much longer is that? Uh, I don't think a fire is going to be... I had burned out already. Damn it. I need to put like stacks of hundreds of wood into each. He screams of nothing spawning, so I'm left to have to go click do that. I think I actually have a ton of wood at the base. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying the Darkest Falls series because I it's pain to me. I enjoy it, but it's painful. But as long as you guys are enjoying it, then it's worth it. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. If ten was eight minutes, times about seven, that's about fifty-six minutes. That's this is gonna burn. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's go. If I could get that cloning station done, that'd be awesome.
I'm actually doing something really dumb right now. I've noticed in A21, if you come across a random fire, and it looks like this, there's no uh, cooking pot in there, no grill in there, nothing, and you stand on it, you can actually get set alight. I don't know if it depends on the mod, but I usually get burned. With this much fuel, it's definitely going to call a screamer, right? I might actually have a problem stopping the screamers after this. At least, I wonder if it's the same in vanilla and other mods as well. In Darkness Falls, if a screamer screams and you run away, when you come back, the screamer horde's gone, but the screamer's still there. With Wandering Hordes as well, when the Wandering Hordes come through, um, when you run away, they actually despawn. But some of them, like for example, the Titan and some heavy duty zombies, they stay behind like screamers. At least it seems now in Darkness Falls, now that I'm starting to get better guns, better gear, it's starting... I don't want to jinx myself, but it's starting to look up. Hopefully you guys aren't uh, going to be like, oh no, come on. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh yeah, good for you, Jean. You want to see me pain and pain and suffering. But the size of the hordes and the stuff that are appearing in the hordes right now is just... Whew, Insane. All right, we have two more turrets over here. Yeah, I'm using nine moles, but the turrets also use nine mole. If I can at least give them each like 500 to help shoot the vultures on their roof. Well, they're not really vultures. They're just flying mutant creature things. Um, I could make more, but that's going to be expensive. I might be able... Do I not have turrets? I could have sworn I had a turret. I should probably just buy one from the trader. I think it's like 9k for a blue one. If I put those on the roof and just load them full of ammo, that'd be awesome. Although I prefer them in Darkness Falls with those, um... Crap. Ooh, I thought I was gonna die. Uh, I prefer them in Darkness Falls with a Dark Trap ammo. I'm trying to level up in Darkest Falls now to get those 10 points for the Scientist Class Mastery. Obviously, you could use 600 skill notes, but with those 600, you can basically make four or five other classes. So instead, I think I'm going to try and get, get 10 points because then you can get the crowbar and the military tablet. Oh, why did I do that? That was reflex. <laughs> I just need to make noise over here. That was a reflex just to kill a zombie. Hello, bat creature thing. If you really want to level up, you need to make a, a, ward a screamer farm base like this in the wasteland. Because in the wasteland, it's non-stop fireballs and demons and... You can't get anything done in the wasteland in this mod, but that's just how you get overrun. Most of the enemies only have a 100 HP, but if they hit you, they stun you, and then the bigger things hit you. Was so dumb. Come on, screamer! I believe in you. No, she only screamed once. That's why I shot. Uh, that's why I was like, "Oh no!" What is? I I could have sworn she only screamed on us. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? Come on, lady. Yes. There you go. Oh yes, there you go. He, he pooped out some sounds just now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's laughing, but he's dying. But their hitboxes are broken. The clowns. You can go for headshots and the bullets will go straight through. You have to more go for the chest area. 
30 seconds left. Let's keep drinking. Hundred and thirty-nine thousand XP to the next one. But I could just send it there forward to the horde. <laughs> On the horde. See, the dragon's dead before anything even happens because he just doesn't move. He's like a dead spawn in. It looks like the stream awards are slightly broken. At least these dudes count as like boss uh, kind of things. But killing them gives you a lot of XP. I don't have the silence on this, right? No. Awesome. Are you done screaming now? All used up. It seems like she's still spawning in, it just doesn't sound like it. Because there's still stuff playing around over here, look at this. If this was Raven is just firing a gun, calling so many random zombies. Heat map. <laughs> Only ten thousand from all of that. I'm about to see if the trader doesn't perhaps have some infested quests. Or wait until like five or six screamers are standing by the fires and then do something. What is that? Looks like it's a hole over there. Oh, you're just my there way. you go. I'm actually infected from something. Nice again. The more he does that, the faster we'll be able to level up. Oh, I just killed the streamer with that. Are you kidding me right now? That was an accident. I thought she was still downstairs when I threw that just now. Let's see, that was 126. Yeah, every uh, like bundle of zombies is 10,000 XP. And then you level up two more times. It feels like the streamer was just too small. Oh, there's still zombies downstairs for some reason. I think let's just go to the base and see if there's anything we can do inside the base. Oh, we'll see if there's anything we can do inside the base and wait for like five screamers to stream. If five screamers stream at the same time, I think that's going to call a, ni a nice big amount of zombies to us. The fire's going to be busy for another 60 minutes. There's a screamer coming in right there. Yeah, we're going to be at our base quickly just doing some stuff and then the screamers should, should come rolling in. As long as they don't accidentally step on the fires over here, that would suck. And to kill this infection. Oh yeah, it's not that I got infected again. It's that I was at 10.1 when I tried uh, to kill myself the first time. But it didn't kill me all the way. That sucks. It seems when you scrap one... Oh no, it just depends on what you're... Ah, I'm so confused.
Okay, let me just check over here. For the quest line, we're still not able to get the low elite. Well, I think we need to flag 80 in that. Um, quests, quests, quests. We need to make some clones, but we need to ga gather the uh, chamber. So basically, we're stuck at our level right now. We need these last two levels to continue and do the, uh, do the clones and stuff. Seeds, however. Seed processor. That we can make. Okay, cool. So we can do the seed processor. A resurrection. That's also we need the uh, cloning chamber. Cave escape. Six skull tokens for doing this one. See, the thing is, it's a very, very uh, dangerous POI. To go. It's this over here. We went there the first time, but with the amount of wasteland spawn that's constantly spawning in, doing quests inside the wasteland is really difficult because they spawn other zombies that are not part of the quest in as well. How many screamers are standing there? There was one coming in, now she's gone. Oh, she's walking up the horde base. I thought where the hell she went, because she, she was definitely there. Okay, seed processor... Wait, what? Where does this go? Seed processor, seed processor. There you go. Now it says we have to do what? Gather yeah, wheat seed, place wheat seed, place farm plot. I need a farm plot. Do we have a farm plot? No. Okay, farm plot block one and then wheat seed. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Do we have any wheat seeds? Yes, we have one. We could basically place this anywhere, it doesn't matter. I just want to get the, the reward for doing the quest. That lone screamer climbing up the oh, that's another one. That's two. Hopefully they don't die from the fall damage over there. Wait, what? Oh, that was part of the POI just now. He's gonna walk on the fire. Okay, cool. Um, I want to go for more for machine guns over here. Fortitude 5. A machine guns reload way too slow. Place planted corn one. Wheat seed four. I want to see, can we get the seeds back if we break it? Like this is a wheat seed over here, right? We got it back. Place one. Place two. I figured this out in Tonga mod. Place three. Place four. Tomato seeds. Please tell me we have all of these seeds. Tomato. Tomato. We literally only need one of each. And then sugarcane and potato seed. Potato. Sugarcane. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, man. Potato, potato. And this is to save space, basically. I wonder how many screamers can actually show up to a fire. If there's a limit, we might actually have to go kill them. Pain seed. I don't know if this counts. Yeah, okay, it is this one. I planted corn one. So it's a corn seed. There are so many different seeds of here as well. Damn. I would have later said, I've been like, where's my vehicle? I can't find my vehicle. Come on. She's standing on the fire. You dumb idiot.
The game thinks, ooh, you have a lot of food now. Yeah, they're burning themselves to death on that fire over there. They're actually busy coming over to me. I might have to quickly go and kill them. And I, I thought I, will, I was going to be able to st um, have them spawn later. But that's not going to work right now. Okay, that one's done. Brewing, we still have to go one into food. Okay, there's three screamers. Let's go. Quest completed. Hopefully because it's night time now, we're going to get more zombies spawning as well. Okay, make sure that we have our XP elixir going. Food and drink is insanely low right now as well. I might not be able to use the uh, SMG turrets. Because I'm going to need them for ward night. I'm using up all my 762 for this. Hello. Yuck. Ugly. Hello, ugly. This is more like it. I should have just waited until night time. There's even night guardians and stuff coming in. There's a bear over there. I'm trying to not shoot them, which is the hard part. Oh, out of This is so much more like it. This feels like a horde knight. Oh, I think there's a knight uh, watcher somewhere over here. The noise being made. I wonder what that does. I know in the wasteland there's a radiated thing around you, in the desert there's heat, in the snow there's cold, but what is that? Stop. We're gonna use up all 1,700 rounds. I need to see if I can't make a ton of explosive sword knight. Oh, he almost exploded just now. I had to kill a screamer to kill him. I just realized... I want to make noise. Silence or all. See, them standing there, that's what break, uh, broke the block last time. Thank you, Sledge. Some of these have way more HP than their friends. Twenty-three thousand to level up. Close. We basically got a hundred thousand uh, XP just now from this. 
Hey Catch, welcome to the stream. It's been a while. How have you been? Come on, I need more screamers. I've noticed there haven't been any screamers since I've actually started killing these zombies over here. Only 300 X people killing that thing just now. Ooh, these guys though. These night watchers are bosses, they give a little bit more XP. I've been fine. I'm fine, thank you. I'm doing some really bad series at the oh, not bad, like uh, but bad, like a damn series at the moment. I'm doing an insane series in Darkness Falls where, yeah, if I die, I lose my tool belt, my backpack, my armor, everything. And I'm doing a Ravenous uh, series, uh, that's been tough. And now we're gonna be doing Ravenous on this uh, server, which is gonna be even more tough. Hello, lady, please call your friends. There you go. That bear over there is so freaky. Freaky dicky. I don't know. I don't think they know how to climb unless they're meant to break stuff. Oh, hello. We were close, so close to leveling up as well. Now it feels like they've actually gotten slower. We have 20 um, fires going at the moment. That streamer still needs to scream, so I can't throw this at it right now. Is that a dragon? Yeah, that's a dragon on that side. Miss this buff behemoth in Darkness Falls. Although over here it's just a mutant, but in Darkness Falls it's big and it's tough. Those were the days. I wonder if the dragon can also vomit stuff at us. All of a sudden we're getting way more dragons as well. Only three, yeah, 300 XP for a dragon. I feel like that's too little. But Move, guys. Move, move, move. You're holding up the line. Oh, my XP makes a war out. Or war off. Basically, at the moment, that's all the torches I need. And it's, uh, especially at night, it seems to be working way better than during the day. It's basically like facing a horde night right now. I should probably start using fire and stuff more because I'm running out of molotovs. I mean, I'm running out of grenades. During tomorrow night's stream, I'm going to struggle getting enough ammo ready for Horde Night. I have to make more workstations to deal with that, just for, uh, just because I'm running out right now. Or we just have to focus a ton on infested quests. I thought I killed her with that shotgun. She actually survived that, damn. Uh, 
just kind of came to mind that torches don't need fuel and are easy to make. Yeah, that is true. I could have made like a hundred torches with the amount of wood that I have put in the fires. I think my heat map at the moment is nice and little high, like really, really high. The recoil on this is a little bad. I need to work on this one a bit. Ah, oh, crap. Even she looks so lackluster. She usually runs at me. She's just chilling up the ladder. It seems if I get too close to the window, they actually come for me and they, they stop farting. They're like, hmm, this is a lot easier. Stop breaking my steel, damn it. I'm gonna have to take an actual antibiotic later. Damn, he was sent flying just now. Okay, so how much more XP do I need? Damn! I don't know if I have enough ammo for that. Oh, he's one of the ones with a little bit more HP. But with all that extra HP, he still gives the same amount of XP. Oh, that was a little bit too short, damn it. That should have hit straight on, but it missed. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> it feels like they broke the ladder a bit. It's shorter. Why do I keep doing that? It's like I want to die. Nope. Out of stamina. Nope. 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 I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oof! Ouch! No! I'm dead! I can't believe I died from this! Ooh, boy! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! I keep falling into the woods like that, but I keep surviving somehow. <laughs> Holy crap, just now that was bad. Now all of a sudden there's more enemies as well. It's like putting my life in danger spawned more. See, my food and water is almost non-existent right now, so my stamina is running out fast. Okay, I don't know how I survived it, but I did. And because I didn't have my vehicle on me, I couldn't just drive away. They destroy the turrets or something. I thought I was dead, to be honest. If I didn't start shooting on the ladder, I would have been screwed. Actually, it was a repeat of Darkness Falls where I had like 6 HP, 3 HP. It was I was bleeding so fast in that mod. That, yeah, I gave up and then I didn't heal myself fast enough. I just need this XP. 76,000. Almost there. I've used over 1,200 ammo. I've used 16 Molotovs and I've used 16 explosives.
Du fick ett jäpp. Luckily. I need to turn the fires off. I'm gonna have to wait until morning though. Most of these zombies are night spawn as well. They're not just streamer. Technically for now we should actually start killing the streamers off a little bit. Just to slow down the, the advance of the zombies a little. Cloning, cloning. Boom. Let's see grenades. Oh yeah, then I, <laughs> I used way more. I think for the Horde Knight, I'm basically going to have to make explosives because ammo is going to take too long. Although I did have... Oh, I dropped it. I had 600 armor piercing 70, uh, 72 rounds. I got it as one of the rewards. Eleven thousand XP just with that one shot. I need to speak into this more. The cursor just grows and grows and grows if I hold it in. I'm hoping before morning I can get the little last bit that I need. Just thirty k more. Come on, you can do it. I think I killed off the streamers, all of them. But they're not going to spawn anymore right now. It does sound to be another one, or seem to be another one underneath me. She, it sounds like it. But um, yeah, she's not screaming, so she's all screamed out. I need to remember when I hear the chainsaw going off like that and it's hitting my uh, my pillar. The crawlers don't seem to be able to climb the ladder and also the fat dudes, these guys. Look at all the loot bags though. Loot bags are rare in this mod. Really good, but rare. So the fact that we have this many loot bags over here is insane. But I need to eat and drink. Veggie juice? Oh, I could have drank this earlier. Now I just need food. I feel like this mod does the behemoth dude dirty. And Darkness Falls used to be one of the big bosses. Yeah, it's just like a lackey. <laughs> and he dies quite easily as well. Okay, how much XP more? 6,000, so explosive. I need to wait for a few more to actually stack up a bit together. I pulled this pin too early just now. What I could do... I need to jump on this pillow over here to help me because I know it's going to throw this regardless. Thought I might kill that thing as well but it was too far away. The dragon is very tame. Compared to his fr our friends over here, the dragon is super super tame. Probably put the silencer back on this gun. Hopefully, because I just used up all my ammo. Uh, should go for this over here. Gun sling. I don't have any points in this one. No wonder. I wonder if I shouldn't respect into just this one and um, there is some the M16 and the SMG. The Tommy gun for the point four four should also be another SMG. There you go. Yes. Now the problem is gonna be killing all of these guys. Uh, cloning, cloning, cloning. Imagine going accidentally for the wrong skill right now. Okay, so I'm gonna just lure them away. I'll have to drive away.
Those fires are going to spawn non-stop more of them. So I need to see if I can't get a Molotov or two more. And these guys we have to take care of so that they don't come back. Now they're coming up this one over here. <laughs> oh crap. You actually made it. You made it over way too easy. No. Wait, how? Why? You made it over so easy just now. Okay, so I need to make a cloning tube thingy. Chamber. Forged iron. Is this one just built too small or something? One Molotov should do the trick, but I need to go turn those fires off. Okay, so yeah, I need what now? Broken glass. Uh, glass. Damn it, we don't have broken glass. We're gonna have to go to a POI and break glass there to be able to make it. I wanna see if I can't really make another Molotov or two to just burn them. And I need to eat quickly as well because my food is incredibly low. Mmm, burger. Mmm, burger. Finding the right place might be a little bit difficult right now. I'll turn this off and I'll explain what I'm meaning right now. Um, there are some POIs. But if you break the windows, it doesn't actually give you anything. So even if you break the glass of the windows, it doesn't give you any glass. Now I need to find the right kind of glass to break to get broken glass. Sometimes the only t uh, place you can actually find broken glass like that is if you um, is if you pick it up off the floor. It used over half the fuel that I put in here. That's insane. Be careful there's no more streamers over here now. It just takes one streamer to actually get that cycle going again. I wasted a steel block over here. I wanted to jump on the steel block. And then all of a sudden those flyers started vomiting at me. Ooh, cat. That's a nice idea. Let me just try that. That might actually work really well. Oh, the bags despawned already. Damn it. There were way more bags over here than just this. That's unfair. <laughs> After all that ammo, we got 19762 left. We used up like 700. And we had 1.8k 9 more. We just have that much left. Probably see what I can and can't make right now. Do, 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 do. Good night, MD. Just imagine how cool it would be if the vultures were like a scouting party for the um, screamer. Please work, please work, please. Yes. What a brilliant idea, Cat. <laughs> I didn't even think about this. Now that I think about it, in most games where I need gl uh, glass, I always go and s struggle and find to find it. Okay, if I scrap two, 
Scraps is three. So I get more for scrapping a stack. 26. How much do I have? 36. Chamber. Chamber. Nine more. Perfect. Well, the fact that they've removed jars and stuff now and vanilla and some mods it makes it difficult. But in the ones that they, they still have it, this is actually a really great idea. It's like this, this simple basic thing sometimes that you just don't think about. Ooh. Okay, this has a recipe, so we put that over here. We could sell it for 2,000, but since it has a recipe to it, you'll be able to use it later. Okay, I actually also want to see, because I said I don't have any ammo left, right? At that closer range, as the zombies come up, that's where I can shoot. And, well, I have this ammo over here, I have some over here. But I have a ton of shotgun rounds. So what I could do is just use my spaz shotgun that we got, or spaz, spaz, whatever it's called. This thing over here. This, sh this is supposed to be a really good shotgun. How many shots can it fire? At least in, like, ways you can stuff, this one usually is OP. Eight shots. They so put, like, put like the barrel extender mod and all that stuff on it. Tube extender. There you go. Tube extender. Uh, let's see if I can do this. This. Who knows? Perhaps this, 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 this. Oh, we can only have one. Let's go for the tube extender. Let's see if it allows you to have three more shots on it. But I have to respec into shotguns to be able to put some points in there because this is just way too slow. Although... I can make my own level 6. Let's do that. Okay, chamber. Now I might just have... Yeah, I don't have enough forged iron now. I need iron. I'm gonna have to go to this over here. Because this whole maze is made out of iron. If I can go over there and just see if I can't uh, dig up the maze itself. And then that trace, I need to go for that airdrop over there. It might be something good. I don't want to use the, the antibiotics right now, but I'm going to have to. I can't believe I don't have any honey or anything left at all. Okay, this is a diamond drill bit. We got to put the others. I definitely had more drill bits. Um... Building supplies? I had a ton of drill bits. Like three or four of them. Did I leave stuff at the other base and not bring it over? And it's starting to feel more... In oh no, there you go. I was about to say. So when it comes to drill bits, we now have the platinum, the steel, and the diamond drill bit. One of four additional drill bits you can put on the auto miner. Auto miner. We can make an auto miner. I just need way more forged iron and I need CO2 canisters, which we don't have. Canister. No, we can't make it. Okay. Chamber. Coning chamber. No! Are you friggin' kidding me right now? It needs more red crystals. So I'm gonna have to go swim again. But this time we can actually take the other mod with us. Uh, armor. Scuba mask. This one over here says. Wait, it actually had a, uh, has a, an uh, uh, example of what I can do. Basically, it allows you to go underwater indefinitely as, as far as I'm aware. It used to actually have like a description that says, yeah, you can do this, but now it's not showing up. Was there a wandering um, vulture horde? Yes, okay, I need this. Since we can't do auto anyways because the cursor just gets too big, I'm going to go for the drum mag. And then laser sights, perhaps. Firing from now, we aim down the sight, so we don't need that one. I could actually put this one on. Although I should probably go for like... The sight mod or something, right? Yeah, that looks nice. Weapons, this one. Modify. 
Okay, yeah, I think for now that's okay. The refi is fast enough. We just need ammo now. We have so little ammo. At least now for Wood Knight, we know we have this one. I want to see, can we make explosives? These are just, this is for ammo and guns. Although it just says ammo weapons, but it doesn't really show. There you go. Almost forgot about that gun. Okay, so grip mod. Uh, we do this, then the grip. The light also technically adds damage, but I don't want that on right now. Unfortunately, nothing else can go on the shotgun. Although, we could technically put the crippler mod. That usually goes on the shotgun. Uh, not that one. Crippling mod. And then this one we can do like so. And then this one over here. We can go do... I, I don't really like this laser sight mod. Because sometimes, when you uh, hit the light switch, like for your... Uh, or your helmet light. No, oh, I don't know. Why am I going for my glasses? For the helmet light, if you turn off the on light on and on, it turns this laser on and off. Okay, so now we need 762 over there. We need ammo over here. I want to see what kind of ammo can we make at the moment. Steel blocks will keep us back up. SMG auto turrets, I'm going to be using the 9 more, so we can't use that. I never put off the turrets at the base now. So those turrets are going to keep going and going and going. At least I have a ton of fuel on me, so we'll be able to just refill, uh, refill it, but that's a waste. Okay, so let's just put this away. Shotgun I'll use during Horde Night. So, see, I don't get how oh, that show's modded. That, that show's modded. This show's unmodded. But it is modded. This one here is definitely not modded. This fires... Yeah, we actually have to put mods on this one as well. This one fires uh, 0.44, which I really love. I don't really have that many mods that I can actually put on this one. None of these go on that one. I need more mods. I need to actually make myself some mods. Okay, and then explosives. I want to go over here. Grenade. How many? All of a sudden, I'm going to cramp. Oh, my chest. I need to make more forged iron and stuff. Crossbow bolts? I think I need to go for this one. I'm more limited by duct tape. Can I make duct tape? What do I need more of? Glue. And for glue, what do we need? Actual working water. Um, we don't have a dew collector, do we? We can make one, but it's a, it's no no advanced one or anything. Is there no other way to make water? Oh uh, yeah, we can make we can make a murky water, Sean. <laughs> I miss the days we can actually use murky water to make glue. I don't get why it's not possible anymore. So I'm just gonna do this. Because that's going to be all of it. Yeah, I can actually do more. This is going to be for our um, survival. The more duct tape we can make right now, the more explosive bolts we can make, so the more we'll be able to survive during Horde Night. That's going to be 144 minutes. That's going to be 86 minutes. Uh, not sure, Prophet. That might actually give it, yeah. Sometimes, though, it doesn't, so it, it all depends. Master Chef, this last one, we need Strength Level 7. I need Strength anyways, because I want to go into the Shotgun for Horde Knight. Master Chef will max out. Now, instead of 80 minutes, it's going to be 
28 minutes. That's such a massive difference. 28 minutes. That's a huge difference. Damn. Okay, anyways, uh, that's for the water. I need to go into intellect for da uh, daring adventure. This is 10 intellect. Do I not have the glasses? I could have sworn by now we had some XP glasses, but it seems I don't have that, uh, those. It's a massive waste. Because now I have to put extra points into the intellect just to be able to afford that. The Daring Adventure for double rewards. Uh, Grease Monkey, I want to go into two at least to repair my vehicle faster. And then we have to go over here and here for Machine Gunner and Gunslinger. Although if I go explosives... I wonder if the, uh, the arrows are going to count more for like uh, bows or if it does a demolition expert because it's, it's explosive. Uh, I need to actually go in this one though. My guns aren't going to be as powerful but at least I can get the best rewards. And then demolition expert just in case the bows actually do that. So as we level up now we have to go for the pe penetrator skill and we have to go agility and in uh, agility and fortitude to be able to go for pain tolerance Machine Gunner, and Gunsling over here. I can even respec again later because I just needed the Master Chef for all this water over here. This I can put away. Ward Knight, I have to remember to grab that because we can replace broken blocks with this. Unfortunately, steel is going to take way too long to craft. Okay. So I can't make any more duct tape at the moment until I have this. Oh, I can't make glue until I have this. And even then, I'm going to have to spawn it in because for some reason, it seems that the chem station is broken. This over here, I don't think it works as a uh, chem station because it's just like the uh, thing downstairs. You put food and stuff in there and it actually dismantles it for you. So tomorrow night stream, I want to go for this airdrop over here. We need to make ourselves a ton of explosives because Horde Knight's fast approaching now that I've streamed an hour longer. And we have to make more guns and stuff. I also want to make that chamber. So we have to go for the airdrop, the crystal, and make more explosives. So you guys, I'm going to call it a stream here. If you guys liked tonight's stream, please like a share, leave a like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. Do you play this mod? If you have any tips and tricks for me, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. In three minutes, there's a Ravenous video coming out. So go check that out. 11 hours later, Insane Difficulty Darkness Falls. And I will be streaming this again tomorrow night as well. And a reminder, on Thursday, we're going to be starting a new Ravenhurst server. So, can't wait for that. But hey guys, thank you so much for joining me once again, and good night.